Hey, everybody. Ba. 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 We're here. Are we here? We're here. Oh my god. Hello. Hi, guys. Welcome to Critique Club. It's, it's, a, it's a packed one today. It's a packed okay. one. We got a packed house. <laughs> People are in, in standing room only. I know. Uh, I, I've i been really worried about this one because we got way more submissions. Does Julia, stop talking. Karina's in doing her intro. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. You're not in this one. <laughs> I was worried because usually we have much smaller uh, Patreon learner streams. Um, and I thought, <laughs> okay, maybe we'll just have like, you know, 10 minutes each. We, <laughs> it's way more than I expected. Um, yeah, y'all came out for this one. Yeah, which I'm really happy about. Thank you. But I also... Uh, I will try my best to give insight into each critique uh, without going incredibly over time. Um, but yeah, not not that we should waste any precious minutes, but usually we give a little time for people to arrive. Yeah, for um, sure. Do you want to know? Do you want to hear my stupid uh, activity of the day? Yes. I, I get one. I get at least one every day. It's so you healthy. Know how I, you know how I like to buy stupid shit on eBay? Yeah. Um, so I found this, I, I found a lot listing um, of specifically Kotetsu Tiger Bunny related merch. And the price was like really good for a Japanese import seller for what was listed. And so I, you know, it's been a week. It's been quite the week. So I bought it. And um, there were just some funny things inside of it. Uh, Has it arrived? Yeah, it arrived. It arrived really early. It arrived this morning. Um, so this is what gives me strength as I as I critique work. But uh, I got this giant uh, <laughs> can badge. Oh you my know? god, it's like, huge! <laughs> what the hell? That's the little safety pin. It comes with a stand. <laughs> what are you supposed it. to pin that on? <laughs> oh, you think this is big? You think this is big? You're like a little baby. Check this shit out. <laughs> no. No, that's not a I pen. I do not remember this being in the in the listing. <laughs> what the hell? It's like the size of a clock. It's like a plate. It looks like a clock. It has a single safety pin if you want to put it on something. If you want to just put it on the front of your shirt. I do not remember this being in the listing. So when I pulled it out of the box, I was like cracking up. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I guess I'll hang that on my wall. <laughs> no, you have to wear it on a jacket or something. <laughs> Next time you see me, it's just the front of my jacket. <laughs> yeah. It's but like yeah. body armor. There were like not stupid things in the package too. I, I got it because it came with two <laughs> tiger and bunny whiskey glasses. Or not whiskey glasses, but they're they're very whiskey glass shaped and sized. So um and then just a bunch of other shit, including this nonsense. I I'm thrilled. That's amazing. Good good get. <laughs> I love eBay dumpster diving almost as much as I love our patrons. Thank you, patrons. Thank you. We really appreciate all y'all springing yeah. for the learner tier. Yeah. For any and thank amount you. of time. Thank you for submitting your art. I know that can be a really nerve wracking thing to do, especially in a public setting. But all of all of the submissions were amazing. So I'm very excited to go through them all. And yeah. uh, everyone be nice and be not afraid. Be not afraid. We're going to be it's nice, good too. Shit. We're going to learn things today. Yeah, I'm ready. I, I, I worry that I might come off as like a little more like uh, critical, but I, I went to fucking art school. Yeah, being, you, you being really know critical, how to crit. being, being critical is how you learn. You can be nice and critical. For sure. But yeah, that's what, that's what you paid for. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I guess we should start because we got to get through this. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I'm ready. I'm excited to see some art. Yeah, okay. So our first submission is from Furry Apollo Justice, who I remember reading at Mocha because I drew I drew your your OC 
and um, the, they were looking to improve character design and painting style. I actually wasn't sure what to say about the character design because I, I already think you've got a grasp on what you're going for. Uh, I like the way that the clothing kind of indicates a lot about like... <laughs> This, I was gonna say how dumpy he is. <laughs> <Or> they are. <laughs> they live in but the yeah. dark. Yeah, they they got the tattered things. It's it's given zombie. It's given zombie, but pretty. And um, but yeah, and you also submitted this really pretty uh typhlosion. I forget the name. Of yeah, the I love the fire. Yeah, so I I was trying to think what uh, my critique would be, and so I I've unfortunately <laughs> gone back to value study. It's value study time. I love me some value studies. So um, especially when doing painting stuff because it doesn't have like the hard outlines, you know, um, to separate, you know, different parts from each other. Although I do love the way you did this colored line art up here. Yeah, that looks nice. Uh, so, so good. Um, you have to be really mindful about your values when you're doing stuff that doesn't have line art. So, um, I, you know, I, I desaturated it and you can kind of see that there's not a, a full range per se. The The full range is in the eye. I, I love the way you rendered the eye. It's beautiful. But um, there are parts of this that like, you know, when you have the color on, it's kind of like easy to tell what's going on per se. Uh, whereas if you're just going kind of like by color, like it can be a little confusing. Um, and with this one especially, the use of the pink fire, like that's so uh, uh, bright, but um, it's still like magenta is a mid tone. So uh, I I wanted to kind of just demonstrate like pushing those values a little bit more. I, I don't know if I, I don't think I did a good job, but uh, <laughs> I, I like your original. And I, I don't like to necessarily say like, this is how you should do it. But as an example of just like, because uh, especially kind of like this area, like, the, yeah, gray, that's a great color. Uh, like, I felt like in the original, uh, it got a little confusing. And so I think just varying up your value uh stuff in parts uh will help to kind of like define the shapes better yeah for sure i think this is a really good example of like how just a little bit of yeah. finagling can get like a pronounced result especially yeah. like that back shoulder was really getting lost before yeah and now it looks like different from the the background yeah and yeah, one one thing was uh, this back ear or like this other part uh, that was like getting completely lost for me at one point because like, you know, the values of the fire uh, are actually really close to the values of the character. So I feel like if that's something you wanted to uh, really finagle with and push, uh, this is going to be a... A running theme so I did not expect how many submissions we would get I've only had time to prepare the first like 10 not even 10 but <laughs> only some of them I, I pre uh, did examples and draw overs for but I think uh, it'll become a running theme and one of the running themes will be uh, push your values don't be afraid to uh, go deeper with your shadows it it can be stark and it's okay to like not do that for stylish reasons but like especially if you're painting uh yeah, yeah. for sure i think that's just it, it's never like the wrong advice it always yeah. helps it's it's a suggestion everything is a suggestion <laughs> yeah art's whatever the fuck you want it to be but you know if that's if that's something you're interested in yeah uh, but yeah, so that was just, I, I love this piece. I love the uh, the pink fire. I love Typhlosion. 
but yeah, I think I, I think I can tell that it was uh, largely focused on the colors. Uh, but I think you're doing wonderful, Sweat P. And just to say again, that eye. Yeah, the you really, eye. You really got in on that eye. Yeah, I can tell that that was the part that you like worked on the most and liked working on the most because you you did fully push the values and stuff and I think is beautiful so I think I think you can give that amount of push to like all of it and then it'll look so cool yeah yeah okay thank you I I saw that you were a little late I'm sorry but I hope that helped we gotta move on <laughs> yeah the TLDR <laughs> was push the values yeah, and I like your character design. I think you're on the right track. I don't have good uh, good advice based on what was sent. <laughs> I I liked this character when I saw them at Mocha, and I still like them. Uh, the next one is uh, Tara Takarin. Hello. Uh, you submitted your comic. And we're just like asking for advice, mainly on the first two. And then you just sent this last one as an example of what else you're up to with the comic. I think it's really good. Um, so I guess my my initial thoughts in terms of like, OK, what can what can be done here uh, was that with the uh, title page, a I think I think it's good to just like not over complicate things, of course, especially like, you know, you've put the I'm touching my screen like you can see it. You put the text like over a part that's like not busy. And I think that's the correct choice. My only my only thought is that in in the original, there's kind of like this space up here where it does have this lovely like background, but there's not anything like in the foreground going on there um whereas like it's pretty loaded in like the rest of the image so i was just thinking oh you you can move the dragonflies <laughs> like maybe up angle the tree a little bit and then have the dragonflies just placed differently so that they're not like quite so far down and then it'll just kind of like continue carrying the action up the image yeah, it makes it um, nice and dynamic too. Yeah. Feel like it's, you know, a moving environment. Yeah, but I mean I think it's wonderful as is, but that's just a little extra thing. If if you feel like, oh, I I wanna have something in that space. I I don't think you need to add anything, just adjust what's already there. Um and then uh I, I have like a further thing on the fire page. My other my other thing was uh, I I like this comic. I think it flows very well. Um, I feel like you could uh, put a little bit more pre thought into your word bubble placement, but uh, this is just a general advice I got when I was taking a storyboarding class in college: is to just vary up your shots a little bit more. It's always really hard to like depict two people just having like a still conversation and um, it can seem a bit uh, redundant if you're just kind of keeping like mid shot, mid shot, mid shot because everything's like all the faces are about the same size with this. So I, I was thinking there's just like throw in a couple panels where it's a little different, but also, I'm seeing this out of context of the whole story. So maybe my read's just a little. Um, and I, I, the other thing of going back to the <clears throat> speech bubbles, uh, I, I was, this is a personal take, I guess, but um, if you're going to have little gaps like in, in spacing in your gutters with the comics, you can, you can pop them in here. Because you're you're putting it over like the little robot guy, I I feel like uh, there's a little uh, lack of confidence, and that's why the opacity is lower on the uh, speech bubbles. 
So I I th I I think you can just kind of pop them down there, <laughs> pop them up a little. So that way you can keep the beautiful illustration uncovered, but also still have the speech bubbles. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Um, so this was a page that you were asking about, and I think this is so cool. I love the fact that there are no uh, panels. It's just kind of like, because this is a dream sequence. Uh, so there's like, it's all just kind of much like, you know, uh, happening a little like dreamlike. There's no direct panels and stuff. But I did feel like uh, it was a little uh, hard to follow. And I think part of that was the compact layout of it. Because uh, I uh, b -b 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 this is essentially what the layout is. It's, you know, like here's panel one, two, three, four, five. And there's all of this kind of unused like space on the page uh, where I, I felt like you could kind of like spread it out a little bit while still having fun with like that fire uh, as the uh, guiding shapes for the comic itself. And as just like a little experiment, I this is like my draft that I did of what is effectively the same page uh i really love that first little guy <laughs> <laughs> thank you um because i i love the idea that you had to kind of like use the fire in as like the shapes of the fires instead of paneling and having like gutters separating each panel i thought it would be super cool if you kind of like uh did that but um i just think just just spread it out a little have more fun with it it's a dream sequence so it doesn't even have to be like that like it can be pretty abstract but yeah that that was just like my thoughts on it i i thought this was such a fun little exercise to try <laughs> yeah this is really fun i really like that idea too of the <laughs> kind of nebulous panels yeah, I love not having just like traditional panel stuff. Uh so I think it's really cool that you're trying it. I think I think it was mostly just like there is uh, <laughs> there is not a brush slide. Like th this is all unused space. And uh I think why not use it? It's, it's there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Space is there to be used. But yeah, so I that was my thoughts on this. I hope that gives you some ideas and helps. I had one really quick thought about yes. the, the third uh, page yes. with all the panels on it. Mm -hmm. um, the I had a little bit of a struggle when I first looked at it with those the two vertical panels, the first and second panel. Yeah. In terms of like reading order, my brain wanted to go from the left top left panel to the middle the vertical back. panel because you your eyes want to go top to bottom, left to right. Yeah. And so I I think there there might be something to do with the panel layout to make it clear more clear yeah. the order of pan the reading order of the panels. You know what else it could maybe be? One idea is that your eye will go uh <laughs> sorry i read manga it'll go left to right but um it's also you know it's a comic it's gonna want to like read words so if you're kind of doing that there's nothing here so you'll go here yeah exactly so maybe if like the words kind of bleed up here that i was thinking a, a similar yeah. thing yeah yeah like bleed the text bubble up into that first panel so your eyes see yeah. those words first yeah, and then maybe have this one start lower. Yeah, I think that yeah. would fix it. Yeah. Or, you know, since you have everything kind of like not blocked in completely, like there's a lot of space, you could also bump, <laughs> you did it again, um, bump the panel down a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, totally. There's <laughs> I lots love of just, options. I love just putting panels anywhere. It's, it's a little bit of a problem sometimes. So <laughs> what do I know? But yeah, 
that was a good notice. So yeah, thank you again. I hope that helped. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> next one is Scarlet Kako. Um, uh, first two I'm really happy with, so any critiques on things maybe I haven't noticed. Well, the third one, I'm unhappy about how the head face turned out. I don't know if I put these in order. My bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love these. This is a wonderful, wonderful collection. I guess if uh, just in general, um, I... Okay, so which one is the, the head face? I, I didn't put these in order. I see My... in the chat they said that's the right order. Oh, okay. So I think the one <laughs> on the far right is probably the... Yeah. Um, basically, when I was kind of going through these, uh, I my general thing was just uh, some anatomy work. Like, I another running theme I, I will probably go with is... Uh, I, I, I red lined the wrong face, whatever. <laughs> Um, anatomy hard and whenever I see people who you know could just you know will want to work on their anatomy like the the issue tends to be lack of structure and just kind of like gentle proportion issues uh, so I, I totally redlined the wrong face my bad I was doing this in a panic but uh, I think your faces are quite nice. The main issue I, I was kind of thinking is uh, the proportions are a little bit, uh, uh, how you say, uh, hairline high, head low, hair not, hair very, very slick to the head. I was just thinking it could it could have more volume to it. <laughs> Get some volumizing shampoo in there. <laughs> you got this testament. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I think I think uh, you just need to practice proportions a little bit more. Like uh, with with Gallo, uh, very good pose. Uh, the main thing was just a uh, uh, leg leg kind of short. So, like, if if you, like, look out these measurements, like, the arm goes to, like, around where the knee would be, roughly, um, on this, like, pose. So, uh, you know, just, I, I just thought the leg could be longer is the main thing. But, yeah, I think these are wonderful sketches. Uh yeah, and so for this one, I think the the issue with the head uh, is mainly that it's kind of opposing the like body lines of the rest of the pose because it's kind of uh, you know it's like more more like that's where the head goes, whereas the rest of the body is kind of like going that away. That was like. <laughs> Julia sneezing. That was uh, my main thing because I think other than that, like this is a really good like pose. Um, my other main, my other thing, and this is just a general thing that I notice people do is uh, when arm go up, uh, chest follows. So that was the other thing that I was like sketching out for you but uh <laughs> everyone in chat is saying bless you to julia <laughs> <laughs> she's not reading it but i'm sure she feels the blessings <laughs> yeah it's entering the body yeah um uh someone in chat said legs are always so much longer uh than i think they are they really are and this was advice i got from a like one of my figure drawing teachers like forever ago and it's not advice i necessarily agree with because it you know it's it's following beauty standards everyone has different bodies and different proportions but it's still advice that kind of makes sense in an aesthetic sense if you're ever in doubt just make the legs longer 
it's going to look better if they're longer than if they're shorter. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah, I'm just like, it's, uh, it is true. I'll hand them that. Uh, but yeah, but I think these are wonderful pieces. Something I did um, to try and help with that, because I tend to make my proportions to squart as well, naturally, mm -hmm. is I would find like reference images of people and then I would sketch out to the side of it like trying to mimic the pose and proportions and then i would yeah. drag my sketch over the top of the original image to see where i undershot or overshot yeah and then try to do it again and eventually you start to like train yourself out of making the same mistake every time yeah like there are rough rules to body proportions if you're kind of following like realistic proportions um, but you know, you don't have to, but it does help if you know them. That's why art schools want you to like have foundation before you stylize rather than, you know, build off of just style. Uh, but you know, it's, it's again, it's all suggestions. <laughs> I don't believe in art. <laughs> <laughs> Art's but, fake. Yeah. If you ask me that, that was my read on these, but I do like your your i love this character They're yeah great outfit their deal yeah but these are really cool pieces and i love gallo <laughs> so thank you for sharing i hope that helped <laughs> all right next is so ep who was so asking EP. so ep um but yeah so uh Fan art pieces, they're just a uh, work in progress or doodles. Uh, so I know what to work on when rendering, revising the sketch. I appreciate any critique. Yeah. So um, uh, these are very cute, by the way. I love the turtle's face. Yeah. It's so she's cute. So cute. Um, so I kind of similar uh, advice. Uh, and also, like, you have to bear in mind you're asking me, and I, I'm just like, okay. So, uh, again, it's, uh, I, I, my, my, the main thing I noticed was uh, proportions. Um, so, uh, with, with Miss Turtle, uh, I've, I just felt that, like, the arms uh, were a little short. So, like, if they, hung at her side they would kind of come up to like where the waist is i understand she is a ninja turtle but <laughs> i i as i'm like i don't know if that was on purpose or anything but uh it it kind of like reads a little a little better to me to just kind of like work on the proportions a little bit in my opinion and um yeah and another thing, just another anatomy thing I noticed with uh, both of these was uh, the shoulders read as a little bit hunched. So uh, I think they could also just kind of like drop a little for both of them. Get but, a little more neck in there. Yeah, just just a whittle, just a whittle. Not a ton. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then with uh, these two... I I love this pose. This is so cute. <laughs> but um I I what did I do? What did I draw? Uh I, I was like trying to like leave little hints for myself, like a puzzle. Like an <laughs> ARG. You have I drew all the these clues. I fucking drew arrows. I I tilted the uh angle a little bit at which like we are viewing this pose i think is what these arrows mean um because i uh again i felt like her shoulders were a bit hunched but i i also felt like uh i could also just be like dude yeah <laughs> uh and and then she's leaning in more i think what am I talking about? <laughs> no, that makes sense. Yeah. Like make the pose feel a little more casual and natural. Yeah. But these were really cute. The legs are the right length though. Yeah. We love to see that. <laughs> Who is next? 
And I do like the uh, the ambition of the pose. Yeah. That's like a complicated pose. Yeah. To have someone leaning on someone else like that. You're strong for this one. Yeah. But yeah, I know I saw, I know I saw you in chat. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, that was, that was my read on these. I think these are lovely, especially for just like doodles or yeah, like sure. even unfinished things. But yeah, I hope, I hope that gave some insight. Yeah. Keep looking at chat like there isn't a one minute delay <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> so far, I've been seeing everyone we've been reviewing yeah. has been in chat. Yeah, thank you for for showing up. Yeah, it's it's hard to like pose people together. So, I think I think you did a great job, but for sure. Um Yeah, I'm like when, when in doubt just kind of like relax them more and just have like <laughs> I think that's what I was doing. <laughs> I think that's what I was trying to say with this. Uh I I drew uh her kind of like more relaxed in this one. So it it allows a bit more just like yeah, natural looking draping. I I hope I I am hope that helps. I got to move on. <laughs> the general rule that I feel like I gave everyone in my critique was that doing gesture and pose drawing practice will never harm you. It only makes things better the more you yeah. do it. Yeah. And you know what? It's fun. I, I like it. It's like my go-to. If I don't know what I want to draw, but I want to work, like I want to practice, it's like my go-to thing to do because I don't have to think about it. I just pull it up yeah. and start going. Okay. Next. Next, uh, uh, yeah. Next is King Chewy. Hi, King Chewy. Uh, I could you give some critique on my rendering and composition? I've been trying to improve my digital rendering skills as well as my poses. These are beautiful. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this, yeah, this one is really good. This one is lovely. The I, I have so many layers. I keep just like <laughs> not doing the wrong. I love this. Um. I, I was really pulling at straws with this one. Uh, so we go back to value. We go back to value. We'll always go back to value. <laughs> Dipping back <laughs> look, into the value well. Look, it's good. It's a good thing to keep in mind for like composition. Again, especially if you're doing kind of like painterly stuff. Y if you start from color, you will focus. Like sometimes you'll just focus on color. And so... Um, I, you know, because I'm just like, I love the the ocean sea mermaid one, but like it, the values are a bit uh, a crunched, like uh, there, there's no black. Well, there's a little bit of black over here, sort of. And then there's literally no white. So you could just like further push the values to really like drive it home because yeah because yeah especially since this is digital you're like relying a lot on the like really saturated blue um to do that work for you but like throw in some white give it a shot try it out yeah it doesn't need a ton but if you put in a little yeah. it really like makes it pop yeah because i i can tell like you're you're not like scared to do it because you really nailed it in this one i think this is beautiful yeah it's really good yeah uh and i i also just really love like this portrait i love just like <laughs> as somebody who loves drawing just like portraits of someone making direct eye contact with pov like hell yeah um in terms of composition the only thing i could really think for this one is that like this little area up here like is a bit empty and there's nothing wrong with like having that empty space, that negative space. Like you don't have to be maximalist about it. Just like have it. But I, I figured like if anything, like these uh, white bubbles and stuff, 
they don't need to necessarily like you can start them here to kind of like create that pattern of like you know the to the viewer of like oh yeah there's like this is part of the image um but like i think this one doesn't need to be in the corner put it up here instead why not <laughs> That way it'll have that white value that carries through to the top of the image. And um, it doesn't need to be in this corner because you already have like the big uh, white shape or like and like light value shape uh, in the figure. So like you can just kind of like downplay that corner and then like put it up here. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> wanted to clarify in chat too for maybe not who asked so when you say push the values you mean like darker dark bits and lighter light bits yeah pretty much basically i mean especially like it for for composition so for this one like it, it's it's falling a lot in the mid-range so uh say you want to just like draw attention to the figure Like, even just doing this will, like, pull the eye in so much. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, because your eye is drawn to, like, the area of greatest contrast, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I don't even think you need to, like, add any darks to this because, like, this is already kind of doing, pulling that weight. Like maybe if you want to like separate the the tail down here, like it'll always like, you know, look different in color, but it's just kind of like a good point of reference to have both kind of on lock. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Great rendering though. Yeah. These are beautiful. Especially the skin in that middle one. Yeah. Like you really nailed yeah. the rendering style for like a darker skin tone, focusing on those highlights. That's like tough for a lot of people I know. Yeah, good work. Thank you again for so knitting. Okay, next is Ribbon Road, who is just asking for a, a tell me anything about shading this guy. It's a cute okay. guy. Yeah, very cute guy. Um. You, uh, I, I did one of your Patreon commissions, so I've like seen your work too. <laughs> um, and so I was trying to think, uh, what, what, what to say, because that's a pretty like nebulous request. <laughs> um, so I, I felt, I, I feel like the simple answer is like, I think cell shading really suits your style because it's like very big swoop shapes, you know. The flat colors are very clean and stuff. So, uh, but I, I, I wanted to e extrapolate more. Um, so this was just me doing like basic cell shading. And I did a little bit of blurring just to kind of like try that out for you. And I wasn't sure because like your lines are hard, like the flats are hard. So I don't know how you feel about blurring. I, especially with like a kind of like, round soft anime-esque style um i feel like less is more <laughs> uh you know people feel like okay you have to like really get in with the detail like that'll look cool it doesn't always look cool sometimes like if you go in too hard with the detail it'll accentuate things like in a way that's not flattering or like doesn't reflect kind of how you want it to look so i think that's nice i i I think like soft shade, like the soft end edge shading could like look really nice, but I, th I think it just kind of depends something because it's something I've been trying to like, um, how you say, uh, work on more for myself. And I feel like it doesn't suit the hair, but it does look really nice on the skin. So you can mix and match. Yeah, try stuff out. <laughs> Fuck around and find out. That's uh, that's how I got this far in life. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't necessarily like soft shading on on hair, and I don't think it like suits. It doesn't suit this this uh, character in particular. But I it can, it can look really nice when you do it on the skin because that also kind of you know mimics reality in a way. Uh, but yeah, and then I just did a second one to kind of show. 
like a, a different a different way. This is my like go to. I don't know kind of shading, um, but it's really fun because you uh, what I what I tend to do is put like one multiply multiply layer of like a really soft light color over the whole thing, and then that way you can add like a rim light in white to kind of like show the original flat colors. And then you add a deeper uh, shadow to just, you know, highlight the darker parts. This is also good if you want to make this Blorbo look kind of sinister. And <laughs> it's also it's also nice. This, I like to do this one because then you have a uh, color kind of overlaying the white of the eyes. And you can, like, add that really pop in highlight. It would work better with a with a deeper like color, but that that's that's I I love having just like really strong white highlights in the eyes. I think it's very cute. Yeah, it's also like but, a little hack to be like yeah. focus right here when you look at this piece. Yeah, it makes them look alive and like they're able to cry. And what's more <laughs> blorbo than that? Um, I'm so also that, alive and able to cry, so I relate. <laughs> but uh yeah so this this is my little like rundown of miscellaneous shading stuff and i i think the main thing is like especially because you know this is a very stylized character and your your style is a uh, very uh soft and kind of anime-esque uh less is more shading is hard and i think you don't have to overcomplicate it if that doesn't suit what you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I hope that helped. <laughs> uh, okay. Simply must move on. <laughs> Time is uh, real, unfortunately. I hate it here. Um, I wish I could give everyone 10 minutes. It's what I was hoping for, and then I fucked up <laughs> because you guys are so supportive. Thank you. Messi Zandrubert. Hello. Uh, recently, I've been trying out colored line art for my marker pieces. Not feeling confident about the line colors I picked for these. You should feel more confident. These are beautiful. Yeah, I like the line color choices. It's such a different... Um, it's such a different animal from digital art and i i think and and just i i don't know like how much digital art you do per se but you know digital art just tends to be more clean whereas there's like this imperfect quality to uh doing marker art like you can't help it like if you if you mess up one little thing on the piece like that's just there <laughs> but I think these are lovely. Uh, these two on the side, I think, are perfect. I don't think I have no notes. I love um, that Dragonite so much. I know they're so good. Um, so I guess if I had to pick out one thing, I think on the Lucario, um, the uh, little area. The little area around the light ball, like that's clearly the light source. I think with that one, like you could go lighter on the line art like i i'm gonna assume that if these are markers these are you know, like maybe what pen or color pencil for the line art um but yeah because i i feel like this is my absolute hot mess <laughs> like version uh since that white is presumably like white light like the line art directly next to it could just be like um a really light gray like marker or like a blue color pencil uh rather than this kind of harder blue line because that'll just kind of give it that like atmospheric and then i drew this arrow pointing to bowser because like this like i love that the hand kind of like uh, recedes in that they're like the line art isn't quite there and uh you know it's it's kind of bleeding into the background just kind of by nature of the uh, uh medium and i think that's beautiful i love that like 
the, the whole piece is good, but I kind of just like that detail because it, it feels a little realistic and it has that kind of like, uh, you know, it's it's those little things that you can really only like appreciate in traditional medium sometimes. Yeah. Um, so I, I feel like with this, where it has this like very strong light, because, uh, you know, it reflects a lot in the rest of the piece of like, oh, that's where the light's coming from. Like, you can kind of just do something similar where it's like losing that hard line uh, next to the like aura ball to indicate like how bright it is. But yeah. Hi, Zandrew Bird. I see you in chat. Uh, but yeah, these are beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, great I... work on these. Ah, I love this Bowser. <laughs> I could look at him forever. It's so textured with the, the marker. I know. Ah, I miss doing marker. But yeah, I I, I think, yeah, because I feel like with this, like you didn't go in with pen. You maybe just like did a color pencil and then like the marker over it. I, I think, yeah, that's a wonderful way to do like uh, in front of a, I just whacked my desk extension. <laughs> um. You could do uh, it's it's a good way to do it, kind of like for that atmospheric lighting. But yeah, thank you for sharing. I love these. Next, next is Sandwich Man. Hello, Sandwich Man. Um, I I see you like Dark Soul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me too. Me yeah, too. Me too. Yeah. 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 Um. Uh. I don't expect a full in-depth critique of each of these, uh, mostly about the colors and composition. Uh, whatever jumps out first is what I'd like critique on these. Um, also, as a side note, if you submitted like multiple pieces, I I picked out three for everyone if you submitted more than three. So uh, if, if any are missing, it's because I was like, oh, I don't have a ton to say about this one. <laughs> so yeah, because uh, I think you submitted four, but. I picked these three because I thought I had the most to say about it. And hey, you'll never guess what it is I have to say about these. Um, let's talk about value. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's value? I've never heard about this. Um, I think the colors in these are lovely, but uh, these two especially are in the dark range, which I think is appropriate <laughs> for for Dark Souls, is my understanding. It's pretty, it's um, pretty dark, but they have brights too. They have a, a yeah, full spectrum yeah. of values. Yeah, because like this piece especially, I love the angle on it, and I love a good kind of like sky, like colorful sky, and then things in front of it. I love that for like a composition, but um, I I felt like you know you you could push it more. There's like, like most of this isn't in this piece. Like, <laughs> there's very few like light uh, values in this. And um, with this one, uh, I I think this one's a lot more straightforward. But again, the colors are good. But I I imagine the orange is fire. Uh, but it has trouble reading that way because it's not that bright. So uh, I, I just think it's like uh, advantageous to do like some value studies. So I did a couple of quick little things to kind of like show how you could push it a little bit more Ooh, if yeah. that helps. Because again, I love like having stuff just like backlit against like a beautiful sky is like the <laughs> the art hack <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> of the century. So just like brighten the sky and like, you know, add, so, you know, just have it brighter than literally everything else and just keep those beautiful colors. And like, you've nailed it. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Cause yeah, this is already so cool. Also like, I, I couldn't appreciate this in like the time it made me to just plop a 15 point brush over <laughs> your beautiful thumbnails <laughs> but like your eye for detail like these armors and stuff beautiful yeah great work on the armor that stuff's so yeah. complicated yeah like <laughs> where do you find the the brain power couldn't be me 
and then for this one like i think this is lovely but i i figured like if this is kind of like fire or like a magic or something just pop pop those to be like the light source the bright source and use that to kind of like add in more of like this range um and then that way like the lighting will really really pop so yeah and I think this 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 one like you you clearly know what you're doing. <laughs> this one like yeah you did it. The the light background will highlights the characters perfectly. Yeah, points right to them. Yeah. I think I think my only kind of like feedback for this one is that you you knew what you were doing a little too well so you continued doing a bit of like a glow so i don't know if that's like representative of anything but you know i if it's not um it, you could also just kind of like not have that and then like <laughs> yeah seven point brush karina that'll do the job <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your eraser is also three pixels. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so like instead of everything kind of having this glowy effect, it can kind of like recede into the darkness and that's like a cool effect. And then maybe you can just kind of have like some really like not even white, but like bright points to still keep the shape of that like cool fabric. So that, yeah, like, it's okay. Not everything has to, like, stand out. Because, like, you know, like, this this little guy, wonderful detail. It, you know, y it can get a little bit lost. And then if you don't want it to be lost, then just, like, have, like, a rim light on it. You can just make things up. <laughs> it's the fun of being an artist. I lie. <laughs> I lie all the time. <laughs> but, yeah. These are beautiful. I just a, a general rule, general theme for today is do not be afraid of just like pushing, like using this full range of value. Just let her rip. Just do whatever. So, yeah. It's good advice. Yeah. Try it out. Especially if you're a digital artist, like try it out. And if it doesn't feel right, just like undo it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't hurt um, you. But yeah, because if if you really like, especially if you're doing full comp, like full pieces with like backgrounds and stuff, like you you got to try that stuff out because just having the full range just opens a whole new world of like compositional nonsense to you. It's great. Okay, this one. Okay, now we're reaching uncharted territories uh, <laughs> of of stuff I didn't pre-draw anything for. So oh, help. we're going off road. Help, yeah, help. Um, trying to get better at drawing humans, humanoids, but I'm not sure what I need to work on, what needs to be corrected. I think these look great. Yeah, they're really cute. Yeah, like, did did you not draw humanoids before? <laughs> I think these are wonderful. Um, uh, geez, I, I kind of, like, don't know what, this one especially is so cute. Uh, I I don't ha I, I got stuck on this one and then proceeded to not <laughs> to run out of time because I like didn't know um, what advice to offer. I think you're like on the right track with this. Yeah, um, I would incline be inclined to agree with you. It seems like you're like you're already doing stuff where I can see that you're headed in the right direction. Like yeah. if you just like keep generally working on you know anatomy and pose. You'll mm -hmm. just keep improving, but your proportions are already like pretty good. Yeah. There's like a little bit of like flatness in some of the like the way the clothes is on the arms and stuff. Um, that maybe could you know with a little more like looking at examples yeah. and reference, you could get a little more body to that. But it also kind of suits the style. So. Yeah, because I'm like I, you can tell like what the style is here. So I'm like, no, I think I think it all reads super well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> just like blanking. So I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, I a lot a lot of what could be said uh here is just kind of like you know, 
work on your fundamentals like have you done the figure drawing we love figure drawing here draw them <laughs> figures baby would you believe <laughs> discord user avalon i see you in chat um uh that yeah if you want to draw like humans you you gotta unfortunately draw real irl humans disgusting but I true know. 3d humans because that's that's where you pick up a lot of like the knowledge and stuff it's wild um but yeah i also i i'm also a fan of this yeah, i will too. say I just kind of <laughs> it's very cute um it's also a bit hard to judge just kind of like uh you know <laughs> draw some legs <laughs> <laughs> where's your legs what yeah. are you afraid of yeah do not be afraid draw your legs <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i think like for for the for what is clearly your art style like you're on the right track i love it um i would love to see i i i i feel like i'm not offering much for this one i i will say that this is like my favorite of the ones you presented in terms of just like the rendering style is nice uh uh the use of color is cute um but yeah keep up the good work i feel like this is a good time to i shout this out every time but my like most used YouTube channel is called New Masters Academy, and they've got a mm -hmm. series of timed figure drawing sessions where they start really fast and then get slower. Uh, a bunch of different poses from the same model, so it more mimics like a real life figure drawing session. Yeah, they take about thirty minutes, and there's a bunch of them. Highly recommend checking that out. It's super helpful. Yeah, yeah, because just going by what what you submitted, like. You're on the right track. You're doing great. You want to learn how to draw people? Do that. Do do those figure drawings. Um, and yeah, I think that's great. Anything else, Jacob? <laughs> um, I don't. I don't have anything else. I think it's like yeah. literally just like continuing to draw. Yeah. You'll you'll just like keep getting better. So many of you, like, you're already on top of your shit. Like, just just continue at it. But yeah, you got this. Uh, Next is girl two. Ooh, These are beautiful. I see my, my freaking that's, Blorbo. That's your Blorbo. Rowan's less of a Blorbo and more of like a Meow Meow. You're the expert, um, so I believe you on that. <laughs> <laughs> do you need me to get the visuals <laughs> <laughs> this this is a blorbo <laughs> that's a meow that that, that one <laughs> this is a pin <laughs> that's a pin it's a giant pin <laughs> size of a fucking dinner plate um yeah these are beautiful yeah what do you them. want from me <laughs> So many people are coming in here with like beautiful shit and I got to just like pretend I know better. <laughs> yeah. There's like a point at which where I'm like once you're at this level, you don't oh, really hi, girl need girl two in chat. You don't really need <laughs> our help anymore. Yeah. It's like you're already really good and clearly you like know what you're working on also. Like you know what you're what you're doing. Yeah only do this so well because it's not like I'm any better. There's a siren going by. I apologize. Yeah, yeah. What else is new? A siren at your place? I know, right? <laughs> no way. I guess if I had to kind of like pick and and like pick and pick and pick. <laughs> um, I I feel like the uh perspective on this is uh what what am I doing? Where are we going? Perspective is hard. If only, if only I attended Spencer's perspective class. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> Instead, I just message him nonsense <laughs> and take advantage <laughs> or take for granted. Yeah, make his no knowledge. use of his expertise whatsoever. Never. But yeah, 
applying perspective to characters is hard. I think, see, part of why, like, figure drawing and, and doing your, like, uh, foundation fundamental type stuff is... Uh, uh really important is that you can kind of this is my my experience this is how i feel i've i've like done this i i feel like you can develop an eye for it without fully understanding the concept that's how i feel like i've done it in this life on this bitch of an earth <laughs> yeah totally because like i I had to take a perspective class in college, but it sucked. I never want to draw stairs again. Um, but uh, once once you kind of like have a long, like, uh, like you've developed the habit of breaking the human body down and like uh, uh, in, into like its little building blocks and drawn it a lot from like a lot of different poses and a lot of different angles, like, you uh can kind of just do it without thinking <laughs> that hard about it in terms of like the the technicals i can't i can't name every bone but i know where they go <laughs> oh you know anatomy name every bone then <laughs> but uh yeah cuz you just like draw a lot i think you can kind of figure out yeah i, I huh you first i was just gonna say i think it's the, it's the same as like you know speaking english if english mm. is your native language uh you don't have to like know what an adverb is I sure to don't. like still <laughs> you know form formulate proper sentences or like sentences that people understand I think it's kind of the same with drawing. You don't need to like know every technical thing, but the more you do it, like yeah. Karina said, the more you can just start to like get a feel for what's right. Yeah, because that, that's my that's my overdrawing of of your character. <laughs> I I think you are on top of your shit. I don't know what else to offer. I love this Rowan. I just included the Rowan because I liked it. <laughs> it was just for me. Yeah, I was like, Jacob will be here. Jacob will like them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I th I think you've got it. Just keep I, on I guess, trucking. Yeah, just keep on trucking. Remember to check your values. <laughs> 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 there. <laughs> That's my art teacher moment. <laughs> <laughs> we found it. We found the, the critique. <laughs> I, I'm really uh, <laughs> uh, pulling at straws with this one, but uh, yeah. I, oops, <laughs> I'm so. Oh, funny. in chat they said, "Fun fact: the idea was a butcher-themed magical girl." I love which that. I love that concept, and yeah. I'm also a sucker for a giant butcher knife. Yeah, that'd be my weapon of choice if I were a an butcher anime. knife. Yeah, like a big held, one held by like a cute magical girl yes. sign me the fuck up i'm there i'm already there i live there yeah you're like that song i'm already there i'm the the, the shadow on the ground <laughs> you know that song no what the fuck i mean I'm probably i do but it sounds it's it's one of those songs that sounds like someone from georgia would definitely know it <laughs> it's got that Georgia vibe. Yeah. I think it's by I was gonna say All Star. Is it All Star? All State? Whatever. All State. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna look it up. I'm already there in the footsteps on the ground. Yeah. Lone Star. Lone Star. The only song from them I know is is the I'm Amazed by You one. That's a good song. Because it was in that commercial. <laughs> it was in one of those commercials of like country music collections. Hell yeah. That came on all the time. And so I've got like the exact order of 30 second snippets of all those songs in my brain at all times. <laughs> but yeah, I, I didn't even touch this piece because I think it's really, really nice. <laughs> 
I love this. I love the uh, what you call it, lamprey, lamprey type hat. Yeah. Yeah, this is already beautiful. Great job on the water too. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I picked this one out. I I know it looks like not as finished as the other two, but because I was like, okay, I think I think there's something here. Otherwise, I have nothing to offer you. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is just a difficult angle to do. Doing doing any type of foreshortening is difficult, but that's why you do figure drawing for years and then you don't have to think about it. <laughs> that's my favorite emo <laughs> anthem. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then I had to split all these up into different files because they were chonky. Next. Next. Uh, ba -ja -ba -ba, lamby Ooh. Lamby. These are lovely. Um sorry. <laughs> Disturbed Julia <laughs> by by hooting and hollering. How dare you? Stop. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> My artist mostly even character focus, focus on character design, but the past year I'm trying to learn drawing backgrounds and incorporating more design elements into my pieces. Looking for a critique on composition, creating a mood atmosphere, and keeping things interesting and dynamic while still being cohesive. Ah, I just wanted to say I love this design. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. I hooted and hollered because of that bottom middle character with the pink bangs. Yeah, can't go wrong. Can't I saw them wrong. and it, it, it forced a hoot <laughs> out of me. Yeah, <laughs> and you made a scene. I made a scene. But yeah. Ah, uh, these are also lovely. I love the. How do you call it in your video games? <laughs> Frame break. <laughs> I can't believe you just alley ooped me a Marvel Snap joke. Thank you so much. I thought I'd at least like let you uh, say it. I appreciate never, that. Never, never speak of it again. Um, it's also the witch hat atelier characters. Yeah. Which, if you want I, some good art inspiration, that comic is which, freaking gorgeous. Let's see, what do we got here? What do we got here? Yeah, I don't know. You're like on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of like good art it, artists in our Discord, and I don't know what you want me to say to you. It it rocks. <laughs> okay, creating a mood atmosphere and keeping things interesting and dynamic. Jacob, do you have anything? I'm like trying to think. <laughs> I guess the only thing that, uh, you know, it, this is in the witch hat piece. Mm -hmm. um, I think that like the motion on the characters themselves maybe doesn't match the motion in like the background. Yeah. Like I think they could do with a bit more like fluttering and floofing. I was, I was trying speed. to think of like what to do and I'm truly just like life hack art hack you want something to be dynamic <laughs> we're just gonna dead, twist it dead serious check it out <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking like maybe pose wise too, they could be a bit more like, I'm like always want to demonstrate with my body, a bit yeah. more like hunched forwards, like they're gripping to like hold on, like as they're yeah. flying, there could be just like something there you could push a little bit, I think. But as I someone just... rightly said in the chat, my advice is always push the pose and your advice is always push the values. <laughs> so we're just like repeating the or same shit we always Or rotate it or rotate it. I'm just like, look, look, we have our thing. You 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 know who you're speaking to. Yeah. But yeah, something like this maybe. And maybe like the hair is blowing, you know, back a little bit. Maybe their eyes are a little more squinted against the wind. If they're like moving at us, which is what I read this as. Because of the, the frame. Because break. of the frame break. <laughs> Man. When in doubt, just make it go. <laughs> <laughs> Swoo. 
maybe have the the <laughs> titular hat <laughs> <laughs> my witch hat <laughs> I already liked the shape that you had going with that. <laughs> yeah, I really like that shape too. Yeah. I was thinking like the um the bits of cloth on his shoulders could be like fl fluttering back as well. Yeah. Yeah, that gives me a windy vibe. Yeah, absolute garbage sketch, but but the it's, you know, you can tell what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And then cuz it looks like it's whipping out there with the yeah. wave. <laughs> Get down from there. It's windy. It's whipping. Ah. There. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. You want to you want to make things dynamic? Here. Here, art hack. Rotate it and you you want dynamic poses? Uh There, that's all you got to do. Yeah, the, the classic <laughs> shoulder hip alternating angle. This is how you do dynamics. We love to see it. <laughs> that's all it takes. And then just keep the head where it is. <laughs> oh, wait, why do I have an error? Oh, boy. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. What does that mean? Are, are we still go? Are you sure? <laughs> I'm going to refresh the creator studio. I think it's confused. Are you sure about that, YouTube? Well, chat will let us know if we die, but it'll take about a minute. <laughs> I mean, it should be fine. I don't know what, what, what it's complaining about. Maybe we're not like moving around enough to, for it to, it's like, this is not enough video. Yeah. <laughs> this is more like a still image. Why are you streaming a JPEG? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, that is good feedback, Jacob. I'm gonna move on, I think. Yes, we yes. simply must. Thank you, Lambie Lambie. I, I, I simply must. Uh, Next is Libra Summers. These are also already beautiful. Okay. Yeah, there, there's chat one minute later. <laughs> Stream has been a little choppy. That's annoying. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know what the deal is, to be honest with you. If it was chopping on the rotation, that's just also, like, clip. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Anyway, hi Libra Summers. Um, uh, I would love some critiques. On do you do you Sirens mind, are back. Jacob? Sirens are back. <laughs> I paused mine as well. You paused your sinking. Yeah. We'll see if it's better soon. I mean, it sounds like it's better now. Well, I mean, it it says YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. I just don't know what that means. So whatever, whatever, we'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, I will love critique on colors, composition, backgrounds and or valuer. Oh, baby. <laughs> you came to the right person. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get some value work, yeah, although the values look just... pretty yeah, nice in most of these. These are beautiful. I, I don't even know what to say about this one. I think it's lovely i oh, love the yeah. way you did the leaves the colors are perfect so cool that's one i would see on twitter and drop a little like on so i could look Ooh. at it later. <laughs> did you post this on twitter shall we help oh you hold jacob accountable <laughs> you can try <laughs> he is unable to be held accountable um with the last piece specifically, I tried pushing the foreground, midground, background. I think you did a great job. Yeah, I think it worked out for you. Yeah. Like, I guess, I guess if I had to nitpick <laughs> as the value bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for party rocking. Um, yeah, it just, I would just, uh, 
push the mid ground back a little more, I guess, if I simply had to, because these cars are not the foreground. Uh, they go in with uh, the 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 bu -bu -bu, the the this the arch the doorway the the entryway the thing. Um, so uh, you could you could stand to make them a bit darker and then push the characters brighter. Uh, actually, I don't know. You kind of you kind of nailed it. No, actually, I take it back. It's kind of good as it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying things out, and I don't, I don't think it was necessary. Hey, but that's part of the art process, right? Yeah. Hon honestly, if anything, no, no, it's it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, maybe, maybe if I'm like, uh, like imagining things, maybe if if it came to me in a dream, <laughs> <laughs> like. Something could be done here, like this specific area. But beyond that, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> I did feel like in the dancing one, the characters are maybe getting a little lost. Yeah. Like, because you have... Uh... A light source coming here so you're following it correctly but um hello yeah with the sign in the background because that's casting light down here uh this area is kind of a little flat is that what you were seeing too yeah i was thinking that like the the sign in yeah. the background should be casting yeah. some rim lighting yeah, just generally like this area, yeah, it could it could just use a little bit of can't go wrong with a little rim lighting. You could maybe if you were getting, you know, feisty, get a little bit of like translucency on the dress yeah. from the backlighting. I think that could be cool. Yeah. Yeah, when in doubt, just slap a rim light. That's why I have nothing to say here. You already did it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you already know. You know the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Just yeah. relight it. Yeah, I think I think with this one that was the only thing. And then Yeah, that already helped a lot, honestly, the little rim light. Yeah. That's that's even a little like brighter than necessary. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Find it, locate it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, something very subtle. I I'm feeling quite quite shy about <laughs> this decision. So <laughs> I didn't even do anything. But yeah, I thank you know what you're doing i also think that i have no critiques on this it's lovely yeah the rendering on that that plant one is like ooh, yeah spot on i think it's truly just with that one like yeah, just put a white dot in the background that'll help <laughs> <laughs> have you considered a white orb <laughs> yeah i think it's just um especially with uh the light cast by the sign like it's kind of making all of these mid-tones and what was otherwise like a really dark background uh so yeah just kind of rein that in i guess is the main thing otherwise what can i say it's good <laughs> it's the tasty stuff yeah Okay. Next. Next. Ah! All right. Xander. Oh, Xander, I remember these characters from the last critique. Oh. I actually already see a lot of improvement from that one to this one. 
oh, awesome. Decided to try drawing an action scene from a comic I'm planning. Excited to hear any advice. Uh, this is good. Um, time to be, actually, it can be annoying instantly. <laughs> it can be annoying instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I already have these layers ready. Um, yeah, like, very good stuff. I, I guess the... Uh, the idea here is dynamicism. You want to know a fun trick? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, Dutch though. Dutch angle it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's like a life hack. <laughs> I mean, that's that's why you do like angles, because you know, like the uh, yeah, yeah, sure. It's just that brush. Just do any brush, Karina. It's just it's just a critique um like you're already kind of like not i don't know how to speak <clears throat> the eye line is pretty straight on so you just <laughs> here here let me let me do it let me hear me out i'm i'm hearing i'm listening Hear me out, Xander. Xander. I don't think Xander's in chat, but oh, okay. It, they'll it, be hearing you out at a later time. Yeah, yeah. It, okay, I'm just gonna do everything on one layer because I hate myself. Why am I doing any of this actually? Like this critique, or no, no, like this job, this, this shenanigans, these like unnecessary actions that I take with these streams um well it's because you got to do something like right on the spot yeah out know? of out of fear and yeah. anxiety i'm doing my best you, like like i said <laughs> you know what i mean you know what yeah. i mean <laughs> i mean i do know what you mean because it gives like, the impression that, like the explosion is like rocking the foundations of the, yeah the scene <laughs> Sorry, I spent five minutes <laughs> rotating an image. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I personally have an animation background. Uh, I have a, a BFA. I have a big fat ass in animation. <laughs> and like, uh, <laughs> um, so I approach my comics work with more of like a cinematography kind of like insight rather than like a comics insight. I never had any formal comics education. I've never even read a comic book. <laughs> <laughs> so I just make it up. But like the way that I view it, and I forget if I extrapolated upon this when I did like a comics draw class, is that, you know, the panels are your camera. So uh, that that's why I'm just like, if you want it to be dynamic, just like you, you put it really off kilter. It it truly is cinematography, <laughs> it's cinematography yeah, absolutely. in in comics. But um, yeah, because I already okay now to undo the thing that I spent ten minutes doing. Because <laughs> uh, I already think like the <clears throat> poses are like real good. I mean, I another you know. You can always push the pose. Hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I remember giving Xander notes specifically on posing and perspective from the last one. Yeah. I feel like the perspective. The perspective is great. They, they got it spot on this time. And the posing yeah. is, is a lot better too, actually. Yeah. Already like a lot of improvement. Again, so many of you who submitted, like, you're already nailing it. So I'm I'm kind of like pulling at <laughs> at, at straws here, but yeah, when when in doubt with your dynamicism, just really throw the body lines just wherever the fuck and have them all like opposing each other. That's the key. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you make it look all, all crazy. So, yeah, and then head, have the head down. Head down also just makes people look more determined. Because you, you get the eyebrows going down. Yeah. 
<laughs> Art's easy, actually. <laughs> you just need to know the life hacks. Yeah, just yeah. do it. Just do it right, and it's easy. Yeah. What's the matter? You don't know. You don't know the art hacks. <laughs> you don't but... know. You don't have a decades at least worth of knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Seems silly <Yeah>. of you. <laughs> Yeah, this is already a good pose. I like the way that. Yeah, especially for this one, because there's like a big noise, just like <laughs> crunch. What did I do that for? But yeah, literally just and then and then also like the eye line is now all uh, I, the cameraman, was also hit by the explosion. I'm flying away. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, who will film yeah. the comic <laughs> nobody <laughs> but yeah that that's my main thing if, if you're ever in doubt about like i want it to be more dynamic just make everything like kind of diagonal <laughs> the body lines the eye line the like <laughs> just remember you're a cameraman when you're making comics so just just like roll like do a little like barrel roll on the floor and wherever you land that's what the angle is going to be <laughs> <laughs> i yeah so good work yeah i'm glad to see a repeat learner and that it's helping yeah me too good work jacob thank you good work xander <gasps> Go, Alexander. Nobody Nemo. Ooh, Nobody cute Doobie character. Nemo. Yeah. Well, they honking outside <laughs> for this one. They're always honking. <laughs> <laughs> also, I love, I love these little friends. Kind of have the like gyroid. Yeah. Look. Okay. No, no specifics on this one, but this is wonderful. Um, I guess the main, my main thing is that uh, this uh, setting is a little unclear because one, everything is at the same level in terms, I, I feel like something you could try out would be kind of like the atmospheric kind of perspective to like make this part recede a little maybe does that make sense you know what i mean i know what you mean you would know what i mean <laughs> if you don't know uh, what atmospheric perspective is doing a really bad job it's literally <laughs> just that new. as you see things further away into the distance the atmosphere itself obscures them so they get lighter yeah if it's like you know a bright blue day they'll typically get lighter and bluer as yeah. they go further away yeah, so this is going to be a real messy example, but like to kind of push that back because there's a kind of confusing thing uh, going on here with the lake. Because uh, this character and the dock are in the foreground. This is kind of the background, like this mountain. But uh, it's unclear, like, you've indicated essentially where the water surface is uh, using, like, a little gradient. Um, I think it could be clearer, like, when you dip, like, you know, your foot in water, there's there's a bit of a line, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> I think. When's the last time I've relaxed? When's the last time I've <laughs> dipped a toe in water? There's no way to know. <laughs> But you're totally um, right. It's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. Too. So I I think I think you could uh be a little more bold about like indicating where like the water level is, because uh then that'll that that kind of affects things. Yeah, there would similarly be lines where like the dock meets the water. I'm getting the feeling that the dock is kind of like really on level with the water. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then like something, something. I think like this is a good piece. I think you should just like go a little crazy with like water effects, like try out some water effects 
because yeah. then that'll give you like a lot more way of indicating like how far away these mountains are like because i don't know like they I, I going by the snow caps i assume that they were large but going by the water level it makes it seem like maybe they're closer than i thought they were um but you know you the way that light reflects on water surfaces and stuff can give you like a good indication of like you know like this is calm water like maybe there's little waves and stuff and it'll give you an idea of what the surface is like where the surface is etc i think it it would also help uh kind of show that this fish is like more underwater etc yeah just i i love futzing around with water effects so like it's it's fun it's fun you should try it <laughs> give it a try yeah because, yeah, just messing around. Because I, I think, like, this is such a lovely piece, but the uh, the way that there's no, like, uh, reflections or anything on the water, I think, was throwing me off a little about, like, the layout of the whole scene. But, uh, yeah, just, just mess around with, like, adding stuff. Because it's, like really abstract like to do so it's like kind of fun and brainless and then it like looks cool <laughs> but yeah these characters this character is so cute i i love your ambition in doing a whole scene though could yeah, it you'll, be me <laughs> you'll just get better the more you practice doing stuff like this you'll get better at it yeah i need to practice doing stuff like this <laughs> yeah honestly <laughs> But yeah, you know, I think I I love this design, you know, like there's little things that can be tweaked at the anatomy. I think the hand is Might a little be backwards, a little confused, but I think the who thumb's hasn't? On, the, on the wrong yeah, side. Yeah, I think the thumb's on the wrong side, but who amongst us hasn't done that? We all have. On a on a large public platform. <laughs> we definitely all have. Yeah, we on I've this lit- call. Yes, <laughs> at least twice, at least twice. Um, <laughs> and I'm still famous. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on the Ace Attorney fan art contest, and I did it on um, one of my like Hanzo drawings. I put the foot on backwards, and I was just like, what's a girl to do? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Can die, I guess. No. No worries. Something... Yeah, I mean, that's just a you'll continue to get better if you keep practicing thing. Something I always find enjoyable. This is one compliment and then one small critique. Mm-hmm. I always love when I'm looking at a piece and I feel like I can see the thing that they they liked doing the most. And yeah. For this character, the hair, I feel like is got a lot of like love and attention on it. Yeah. And I really like the hair highlights. I feel like they they look really nice. Um, The only other thing I was noticing was on the left image, I feel like you could work on like clarity of expression in the face Mm. Um, because the character's facial expression is a little bit unclear. Like it's hard to tell if they're happy or sad or what exactly they're like feeling. So I would maybe try to work on like pushing your expressions a bit by like looking at some examples of people making exaggerated expressions and trying to kind of mimic that. Yeah. That's all. But yeah. Yeah. I love this character though. So cute. Time to move on. I'm afraid. Yes. I simply must <laughs> just keep telling ourselves simply must. Hello. They'll Delphinian drow, Delphinian drow, hello. Um, uh, the pieces I want to submit are <laughs> most are too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm open to any critiques, especially anatomy and faces, but I struggled the most with the shading and color on the Mario costume pieces. And on the other piece, my little meow meow, I wanted to shade it, but everything I did looked bad. And there wasn't a single background color that I liked. Um, It also feels like his face isn't very defined. Um, I think the Mario pieces are very cute. 
this one especially i love <laughs> yeah i really There's like so the, much character the poses love, and the expressions i love this mm. yep uh, okay but yeah no i th i think there are so many of these like because I, I compiled everything last night so I've, I've looked at these at least once all of them and um so many people are just very hard on themselves <laughs> we truly are our own worst critics um i guess here here you want me to nitpick arm arm forgot to finish arm i think arm go go in there i think arm go in there um but yeah, these are so cute. I think I think this one's perfect. <laughs> yeah, I really like that one too. It's so cute. Um, I feel like maybe there's a bit of like a, a lack of confidence in the anatomy on this one. Just uh, kind of like if I look at it, I can tell like maybe you had your doubts. But I, I think that's just another case of like, hey, just keep keep at it draw do more figure drawing um yeah because we're already like pretty good yeah and like, i think just more practice i will just say as someone who is often told i'm great at anatomy like arms up is hard arms up is hard like where do yeah. they go how do they do that <laughs> like, yeah, where hard. do they place how do i place them without covering the titties the most important part <laughs> there must like, be a way there must be a way Ugh, i hate it so um i i will not uh i i simply can't take the time to like redline this but like i i think i i can tell that like there are things you're not sure about like you did say you uh um like these were the pieces that you were like i don't know but yeah like just keep at it uh shading and color i think they look nice i think the shading is very soft but you know it's consistent throughout so like i think it works it's not something i noticed <laughs> and i think the colors also work because they're mario colors <laughs> i think these are lovely pieces um and then this one i love just slapping things on on the background there's nothing wrong with just it being on a black background sometimes it's the correct choice um and having stuff on a black background is also just really nice because then it kind of like makes all the lights pop <sighs> i wanted to shade it but everything i did look bad i doubt it <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, the, I mean, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to take, I do also love the hair. I'm going to assume that if you were having doubts about the shading, is the hair a brush? It doesn't matter because you did the hair like that. I think like you should, if you still want to go back and shade this, like try softer like a softer way of doing it no no that's a blender i'm stupid <laughs> <laughs> what are my soft brushes where is anything whatever we're just gonna use the airbrush fine fuck it airbrush plus lasso <laughs> tool sometimes my best yeah. friend yeah because i'm just there's already uh yeah since the hair already has kind of like this soft shading just try doing soft shading throughout i'm not sure yeah how much you like doing that i personally don't enjoy doing soft shading i so rarely do it but one thing you can do one thing you can do <laughs> she's uh, going golem mode <laughs> okay because soft shading is also kind of hard to do because uh, everything will uh, uh, have it differently. It, it'll look different on uh, clothes, then skin, then hair, then a different type of clothing. That may, that adds problems. <laughs> um, but 
No, what I do whenever I want to do soft shading now is that I have a series of brushes that like blur. So I can do like in this part where the fabric's kind of falling off, I can do a strong blur. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Switch over to a weak blur at the top. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. And have yeah. it ha end in like a hard like shading. Yeah, that looks so nice. That, yeah, you can vary it up. So that's another fun thing to try if you want to try new like things is you can you can just fuck around and find out. I think that's the the mantra of my artistic learning process is like, have you tried fucking around? Did you find <laughs> out today? <laughs> you no? need to find out. Yeah. You currently have no idea because you haven't found out. Yeah, you you need to fuck around a little so that you can unlock the finding out portion of the of the process. <laughs> this is a very like rough thing, but it, it's another thing that can be done to kind of uh uh do do like the in between of like you know hard shading, soft shading. Um, what color am I on? Whatever. I feel like too, if you were losing a little bit of the the face, you felt like um, adding mm -hmm. some shading and some highlights on that face will probably help. Yeah, it was just like one thing I, they mentioned in their thing was that yeah. the face was a little indistinct. Yeah, I think it's because the the purple is so dark. Yeah, and then you can just yeah, especially with uh like face skin uh again sh with with shading especially if you have like a really like stylized like if your art style is you know deviates a lot from realism it can be difficult to figure out like how much is too much i think less is more uh and part of why like oh i don't know how to shade the face to like look defined uh without it like looking bad is that sometimes you'll just kind of over define it so uh that that's the nice thing about soft shading is that you can get those subtleties of like uh bone structure without it coming off as like you know aging the character or like mm. being too soft or being too hard yeah, because sometimes if you like shade everything in hard and try to get all these little things, it'll make your character like look like they have wrinkles or like hard shadows where that wouldn't look like that in real life. Yeah, I think everyone, this looks really nice. Yeah, everyone has like, this is a really light color for shading. I'd usually go darker, but uh, <laughs> um, let me just do this. Um, but yeah, that's the nice thing about doing like soft shading is that you can indicate like the raises of, you know, the bone structure and stuff without it looking just like a hard edge. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, try shit out. You, you're doing great. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Did I mention that? But yeah, these characters are so fun. Just, yeah, it can be frustrating if you're just like, I like this piece, but nothing is working on this step. Uh, take take your time with it if you are able to and try different things, experiment. You know, that doesn't always come out right. But again, that's the beauty of being a digital artist is that you can't just like undo. <laughs> yeah, or just delete the whole offending layer. Yeah. Uh, that's the problem I was having, either too soft or too hard. Uh, I Can I tell what program you're in? If you're in Clip, I, I have a feeling maybe, but I never want to assume. Um, try and find like a smudge brush that'll do like different uh, intensity of blurring. And that'll be a fun way to kind of like try out a different shading style. Go in hard and then you can soften it up uh as you go rather than having to like commit to one way or the other yeah get you a little bit of both yeah be indecisive it's fun you can take your time clover child um hello i'd love any input 
The only specific question I have is the anatomy of the guy with the hellhound. I got you. I um, made that the one the largest because that is the main focus of this one. I honestly like don't have any input on these two. I think they're lovely. I guess my only input is... <laughs> <laughs> Did you check your values? <laughs> I think your values maybe could be a little bit pushed. Yeah. Why not? Why not push the values? This one is lovely. I, I really, I think you, I'm still on a smudge brush. I'm just smudging up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, why Fuck is this it so up. smudgy? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this one, I I think you might have had four pieces, but uh, I, I, I didn't know because I'm like, I don't have anything to like say to this one. I forget what the other one is. It might have been like a work in progress, so I skipped it. But like, I think this is beautiful. Yeah, I like I think, that one too. I think this is lovely. This one, uh, I think you can add more like brighter values. Like, I think if if we had the gradient, it's more on the dark end. You can push it more a wider range, unless that's your intention. In which case, ignore me. Right now, I am yeah. losing almost entirely, though, the the like stake that's going through her chest. Yeah, the stake, that hand is a little, like it's there and because it's one big shape, but it's also kind of losing for me. Like it's, yeah, mess around with it. Fuck around. <laughs> and maybe you'll find out. You might. <laughs> Um, I have to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Well, I'm just going to start redlining this. <laughs> I'm going to be really like, here's here's my ultimate weakness as an artist. I'm going to do it this way. It's just easier for me. <laughs> um, so actually, it would work better if I did it like this, huh? So with this, like, this is, again, raising arm hard immediately amplifies the difficulty of a pose for some reason um and uh doing it from the like the side view the profile view you're crazy <laughs> um so yeah don't i i definitely there's definitely stuff to fix with this pose, but I wouldn't feel like embarrassed about that. This is a hard pose. I'm not even going to get it right. But again, first things first is that when you raise your arm, it raises like your chest as well. The tit goes with it. So in this case, like, let's have that go up. And then, yeah, how would I do it? Shoulder is higher than usual. The hellhound is awesome. The hellhound is awesome. No critiques. I love a good scary dog. Um, yeah. You can always also just like check yourself in the mirror if you like need <laughs> a pose reference. God forbid, take a picture of yourself. Um, God. Uh. I definitely had like a lot of weird photos on my phone of like my hand at different angles. Like, uh, you never know. Um, cause I think the way that you have it right now, he's doing kind of like, like a, this, which is an unnatural way of doing it. So you want it to be more like this. So the hand would be kind of more forward to the head. So in this drawing I'm doing, I have him turning like full body kind of turning more towards the viewer so that um, it's not blocking the face with the lantern, you know? So the lantern will kind of be in this little spot in between the face and the arm uh, rather than like because i think i see you i think part of why you were having trouble with this pose is that you didn't want the lantern blocking the head but if you were doing it from a full side uh thing it would be more like 
this like it would cover his head i'm just scribbling and but i hope you're seeing what you're picking up what i'm putting down so uh you would need to like rotate the whole pose a little bit to get that lantern in optimal position and i'm back then, yeah and then to do that yeah just whatever and then for the other arm, since this one is going up, let's have this shoulder kind of go down and away. So it would be kind of like this. And I'm just going to really fucking put this dog in. <laughs> um but yeah so here's here's kind of where we landed with that and then I, I flipped the canvas back like i did it the correct way the whole time whoa trick yeah sorry i i work stronger it's easier for me to visualize things facing that way <laughs> and we're pressed for time <laughs> So uh, I think this is kind of where you are struggling. Like I said, I, I think part of what threw you it was the inclination to not have the lamp covering the head, which isn't possible if the body is facing full forward. So just have do, do like a full turn kind of like towards uh, towards the viewer. And I think that'll help kind of open the pose up and... Uh, you can figure it out from there. Like you have a good grasp on um, human anatomy. So like, I think, I think that was your snag, but again, having arm go up is already kind of like <laughs> challenge mode and doing it from the side doesn't help. So uh, I, I hope this, uh, um, helps clear that up for you. Yeah. Yeah. I like that dog glow. <laughs> this dog is so cool. I love this design. We love a hellhound. Um, but yeah, and <laughs> yeah, and, and remember to check your values. The values in this one, beautiful. This one too, lovely. This one feels a bit dark, but maybe that's what you were going for. In which case, ignore me. But yeah. Thank you again for showing up and supporting Clover Child. Thank Next. you. Oh my Jesus, it's already almost five. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to start. I mean, we can go a little long, but yeah, I you're the one running the stream, my guy. Um, but well, I got nothing going on, so I also have nothing going on until at least seven. But <laughs> like, let's just let's hit like one big tip for each one. Yeah. Then we can move that way. Yeah. Okay. Patrick would love any feedback. The thing I'm mainly working on is lighting and texture. Um, I love these silly designs. <laughs> They're really good. They're very charming. Yeah. And I can tell you're working on lighting. Um, yeah, it looks nice in that one. Yeah. This one, I... I think that there's like yellow highlighting going on. I'm going to assume it's since some of it's in the hair. And the problem I'm assuming is because of the values. Yeah. So that's, you, you see in down here, that's your hair value. And this is your highlight value. You're using the same highlight throughout. I see how, God damn it. If you're watching the color wheel, you can see how how close they are to each other and with a pink this light you're not gonna get a highlight unless it's like white very few things are gonna look good otherwise so uh because like with this one clearly yeah you're just down you're you're down to do like the full blowout highlight so i think yeah same thing it, i love like a beautiful pro mare highlight but it's really difficult to do sometimes if you're just like some, sometimes you got to be like a little weird about it and uh yeah 
It, it's going to be hard to, it, it doesn't work on this hair as it is, I'm afraid. Yeah, but, you got to cheat and lie to make it yeah, work. Yeah, that's the fun thing about art. You can just make it up. So you're going to have to like mess with that. And otherwise, I I think this lighting is very cool. Um, with this one, I can tell there's a bit of shading going on, but it's very, very uh, coy. <laughs> Be bolder. <laughs> yeah, pick some like definite areas that are shaded and definite areas that are not shaded. Yeah. And see how it looks. But yeah, I I do like again. This is this is you are clearly doing the thing. Um, yeah, I, I I think like there can be more. You know, you you have it very bright on the uh body and on the clothes, so like it can be bright on the staff itself. Otherwise, it looks kind of like. Where is that light coming from? The red thing? It, it, it should be one or the other, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, you know? Yeah, but totally. Otherwise, these are beautiful. Yeah, great work. Keep it up. Yeah, I love these. These, these got some silly D&D &D party vibes. I'm into it. Next artist. Next. Uh, hello, I would appreciate any feedback, but I'm mainly looking for help with anatomy posing, especially in the sense of posing two characters together. Oh, baby, the hardest thing. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, these are wonderful because um, I think you also submitted more than four and I picked this one because it was like a full body pose in anatomy. But again, it seems like you're like, into what you're doing and you're on the right track and you're obviously like uh drawing a lot and you will continue to get better as long as you keep drawing i love that you did watercolors on this one so cool so moody it's um always very difficult to like pose two characters together i i chose this one because um i think this is a good example of like uh uh ba -ba 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 push your poses because it doesn't give a full sense that they're like falling because the line of action is very straight on both of these characters. So if they were falling, I think like it would be more that maybe like to give a sense of like where they are falling from. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you know what I mean? Also, this is Discord user. I'm here in genderqueer. I've been forgetting to say the names. But yeah, so. It's. Uh, yeah. I think I think as a whole, like. Uh, you know how to draw the human body. Now let's start getting crazy because it is just like not uh, like you can push it. Are you saying push the pose? Karina? I think I'm that... saying push the pose. That's amazing. I love to hear that. Yeah. Just go. Go. Oh, we love drama. So, yeah, just push the pose more. Change up your body lines because like this one, this one's fun. I can see you're starting to do it. Yeah, but... you got a little curve there looking nice. Yeah. But yeah, like with these two, like the the body lines are very like straight. They got wonderful posture. Fuck it up. <laughs> they said in chat, I'm always scared to push. I will try to push. Yeah. Yeah, don't be I scared. Mean... And like practice it in ways that don't matter. Like Yeah, because I'm like, yeah, I can get that because these are clearly traditional pieces and that has a lot more like, oh, I'm gonna fuck it up than yeah. like a digital art where you can undo. Uh been there, buddy. But yeah, I do do less pieces uh that you feel need to be finished and like polished. If you, that's the fun of keeping a sketchbook is that it doesn't have to be beautiful. You can just like scribble. It's it's something that like you, sometimes you got to remind yourself that like it, it can just be like meh. You can just practice. You can get it wrong. 
you can tape over it with post-it notes yeah just yeah highly recommend brave. that do a lot of sketches and then a few finished pieces yeah i think that'll but, yeah. make you grow real fast i think it's very cool again that you're doing traditional i'm excited that there were people who did traditional in this one but yes thank you so much thank be you. not afraid it's there's literally no consequences to this so yeah. nothing to worry about yeah Okay, this one was uh, Conti Forex. Uh, I hate being perceived, but if I have to take this opportunity, it's because it's something I've desperately wanted a few years ago when I was struggling with the first piece here. I will not be critiquing this one, but I included it for reference. Um, it's a cool piece. Yeah, very realistic. Uh, bu, bu, bu. I've since abandoned that particular one, but the struggle endures. I suck at choosing co colors and it winds up negating my decent grasp of value and saturation. See the Procreate screenshot. Yeah, those uh, do look nice values wise. Yeah. For proof that I'm passable with limited colors, I threw in my seascape, uh, uh, and for good measure, a uh, work in progress that doesn't have a real background yet. Hey, remember earlier when I said some of you are like incredibly hard on yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about you, <laughs> Goti. You're, you're the one. <laughs> it's, it was mainly you. No, I think these are beautiful. Like you're really... <laughs> I, I'm sorry you struggled with the first piece. Um, I I feel <laughs> I feel it's been uh, you you kind of just generally been really hard on yourself because um, I think these are lovely. Yeah, the seascape one is. Yeah, the seascape one is beautiful. No notes. <laughs> great work on the clouds, the the water. Yeah, and I feel like, like you, you picked great colors. Yeah, I see. You know, you got. You you clearly like paid close attention to your values and then the subtle like reds. Well, yeah, use a red pen, Karina. Great job. The subtle like warmth reds, you know, warmth in the sky and in the boat compared to just like the blue and cool of the ocean and the clouds. That's very, very good. That's genius. I don't know what the issue is. <laughs> <laughs> You're so hard on yourself. Have some more confidence. And I think these Procreate ones are lovely. I can definitely tell like the the struggle with color in this one for sure. I think this one's beautiful. Yeah, I think so <laughs> and too. And your values are all there. Like you got this. I think too, like um, the only one that I, like you said, Karina, the only one I noticed issues with color in was that one little thumbnail. Yeah. Um, and it's just because the colors are like so highly saturated. It's literally just the grass. Yeah. The grass is like way too sad. The background mushrooms actually look really nice. Yeah. Literally just turn the saturation down on the grass and you got it. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. I think Don't like in, your, so other, mean to in yourself. your other pieces, you already do the advice I would have given you, which would be yeah. to start at a more neutral saturation point for your like first color pass and then add like stronger ones from there. But you do that on your other pieces. Yeah. And this one, I, cause, um, uh, something I found like a little jarring about this piece was just like the incredible, like the one that you, uh, did a few years ago was like the incredible realism of it. And I really love like the stylization on these characters. Yeah. They look really nice. Yeah. Uh, cause you said this was a, a work in progress. So like, I'm not going to like pick at this too much. Like, I, <laughs> Yeah, I'm just like, I I think you can pull it more forward because it's it's a little dark and I want to see the characters better. I'm so interested. Yeah, I They're agree. So That's what cool I thought looking, as well. but also this is a work in progress, so I can't judge. But yeah, you are your own hardest critic. This is really good. Yeah, <laughs> just keep at it. You're already like really good and really talented. <laughs> Yeah. And so you you like you're already in a good spot and you, yeah. you'll just get better the more you the more you work at it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you so much for sharing. I know that's scary and I know that you have probably been a little frustrated with your work, but you're doing great. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, the thing that I always do 
when I'm uncertain about color palettes or color choices is I just look at other people's art online and I color pick from there and make a palette out of that and then figure yeah. out why that worked. So, yeah. so good. Yeah. I mean, truly like the seascape piece, like, you know what you're doing. You're, you know, it, it can just be hard to like see the good things in your own work because you saw how it happened and you're yeah. not, you're not feel, it, that's how I feel about cooking anyway <laughs> just like oh no <laughs> gonna put that in my body well, let's go okay thank you thank you for sharing <laughs> uh next is Trapagon Trapagon Ooh, I like these yeah these are Jacob core yeah very Jacob core <laughs> Sorry for the reason. Uh, excited to see Karina doing this one. Thank you. Sorry. It's such a lot. Uh, I love help on design, clothing, and colors. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make the stream while you are. <laughs> you would have missed it by now, but luckily, we're still going. Um, uh, so I hope you made it, too. Uh, yeah. This was one another one where I'm just like, what do you want me to say? Yeah, you're it's, doing it's really it really <laughs> good like you've already got great design sensibility yeah on these characters i love the jackdaw whatever yes. their story is i love thighs um i love thighs I... and covered eyes and you got both <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do notice I'm just you've like... covered every eye though hell yeah are you Digimon scared of drawing rules. eyes I mean, if you are, you better face your fears. I do love like this that's is really a cute. Face. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like I don't know. Yeah, I'm like I guess I guess you don't have a lot of eyes to show. Is that your weakness? <laughs> we found it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I love these. I love um, and I love your clothing designs. Like the, <laughs> I love I love the very fashionable like cuts and. <laughs> silhouetting you're doing with the clothing yeah i love so cool. thighs i'm just uh i think you had one more piece that i i was kind of torn between that one and this one but i i know you were like really mindful about the colors so i included this one rather i wish i could say more about it in terms of the design but it's kind of hard to go on based solely on what's here but also i think your color palettes are nice yeah I see you're a big fan of them cools and then a gold. Can't go wrong. And then no, this one's good. also just really nice. You got them complementaries down, my friend. Yeah, really nice color and great pose and gesture too. Yeah, like these are such characters. They're really cute. I love how much personality I can get out of this one. And also I love thighs. So yeah, <laughs> I love the spooky. They said yeah. in chat, I do draw eyes. I believe you. I don't think you actually have an eyes weakness based on your other work. We're just grasping at straws yeah. because there's not a lot to like say. Yeah, it's really good. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I. Every time I hesitate because I'm like trying, I'm just like, no, they, they want me to like critique them. But I just there's there's so many good and very little i can help you with um i you you wanted color feedback i think the colors are beautiful i especially love like this combination of like the blue going into the mint with the kind of like more muted gold yeah perfect oh but yeah and i think this is a wonderful like color palette for like a spooky spooky ghost lady Meows. Yeah, great work. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Just for keep submitting. keep doing it. I think is that the end of this file. Uh, oh baby, we're moving. Oh we're <laughs> <laughs> again, I'm so sorry that if if we're not uh I, I, w I wanted to give everyone more time, but there's so many of you. This is the last file, right? No. Oh. <laughs> this is the last file of 10. 
And okay. then the next one is the last one with six. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll start moving with a bit more, a bit <laughs> yeah. more haste then. I'd like okay, to be Okay, elusive before. green. Yeah, I don't want to be here all day, but I do want to give everyone their feedback. Totally. Elusive green, I don't know shit about designing or making knives, but I guess it's your birthday. So what <laughs> can I say? <laughs> they look cool to me. Yeah, I'm very impressed. In terms of just like, um uh uh like aesthetics i love i love the handle on this one i like that it's like not like like it, it's that like non metal blue very cool but yeah i think these are nice designs i don't know shit about like crafting a dagger i've never done it <laughs> yeah, uh, i, I so... wish i had like any advice yeah, like I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I draw for a living. <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday. Happy and birthday, these are cool lovely. knives. Yeah, congrats on being able to make a knife. Um, yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, and I love how much thought went into the design. Again, this is completely out of my wheelhouse. I'm kind of just impressed, but um, uh, buh, 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 the dagger is when I finished most recently. Uh, the the prom well the sword is an extremely late uh prompt is mirror. Yeah, it's got Honest. that cool broken feel. Yeah, I do love the like unique shape of the sword. I I guess <laughs> I'm like okay if I wanted to be really extra, what if the handle was a mirror? I don't know how to do that. I've never made a sword. <laughs> Just make the handle a mirror. <laughs> Just make that. Can you like chrome paint it? They do that with nail polish. That's and, my favorite. And maybe you're already <laughs> going to do this, but it feels like in the blue part of the handle, it could use some sort of like paint or something to like bring out all those details you put in there. Yeah. I don't know exactly how you would do it because, again, I'm, I know nothing. I just know that looking at it from afar, it's hard to see all the good detail work you did. Yeah. But yeah. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah, great work. Vlad Bride. Uh, anatomy and color choice. Okay. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. I, because I know I, I picked out these three. You sent several of these like DC girl kind of uh, illustrations. And I thought these two were both super cute and nice. Um, but again, Here's the problem. Arm up. I arms up are hard. I don't know what it is about like having an arm go up. I I feel like uh they this it looks a bit hunched in this one. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um and I guess also like part of why I'm not super sure as I say that is cuz like there's it's it's a lot of like dark colors so I'm not I, I, it doesn't read super well at a distance, um, but that's just the colors of like the hair and the shading. But yeah, that that's it. Uh, otherwise, these are super cute. Um, I love Mwah. and uh, yeah, this one is really a lovely piece. Let's be annoying. Is it values time? It's values time. We're just we're just gonna do a little values. My favorite time. time. Yeah, like it's it's there. You got it there. I like I like that um the light is, you know, highlighting the lady, whereas la creatura is just kind of like in the in the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just enough that he like uh pops out. And um yeah. And I also uh think it's a good use of color to like have her wear a white swimsuit and have like very bright blonde hair in what is otherwise a very dark and green photo photo drawing yeah uh <laughs> <laughs> totally i'm panicking but yeah um i would say about the arms just watch making them too short I know yeah. it's like hard to tell how long to make them when they're like sort of foreshortened towards us, 
but I'm getting yeah. the, the vibe that they're a little too small. So I just think, like look at some reference, yeah. I think. And I think and they're real. It's at a glance, they're fine. I think the uh, what's the opposite of forearm? <laughs> the uh, the up arm. The up arm. I think the up arm is a little short. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking On, as well. Yeah, it's it's hard to tell, but yeah. I think it's just the arm. It's literally just the arm. I mean, like what it's called. Like that part's the arm, and then the other part's the forearm. Is that true? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's the bicep tricep zone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these are lovely. Keep up the good work. Yeah. Okay. They got a lot of character to them. I like that. Yeah. yeah. All, all the ones you sent were really good. I, I had trouble narrowing it down because I was like, they're all good. What can I say? <laughs> we love cute girls and thighs. I, I'm not on a layer. I can't circle them. Um. Okay, this one's fun. Uh, here's a drawing I did twice. First one is from 2018. Uh, second one is uh, August 2020. Um, I would love to do a third version, but since it's the visits or years, I think a bit critique is a good way to get inspired. Love it. Also, this character is an elf bard named Cool Ranch, and <laughs> quote unquote, she is a slut affectionate. <laughs> um i love that great improvement yeah the improvement is already so good um <laughs> push him is that fire make the fire like crazy bright fire big light fire make big light is the thing there's a reason they use it at camp <laughs> And then, like, make the rest, like, like push the rest back. Um, but yeah, no, just just at a glance, like that. That's the main thing, I think. Uh, be more, be more bold with your uh, shading because it looks like she's standing in a very well lit room. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Try to uh, try to push that stuff. Yeah, especially since like the background uh, is dark. Like, why not have have like the fire be like a huge light source and it can be really dramatic and cool. And I think Cool Ranch deserves that. Um, but yeah, no, the, this improvement is already fantastic. And then I think it's similar advice to what you gave the other person a while back with the, the vertical line of action. We yeah. Because if you're shooting fire out of your hand, it's either going to be like pushing you back or maybe you're leaning into it to like resist yeah. the the you know counter force of shooting fire out of your hand. Yeah, because right now like the kind of like pose <sighs> lines are very cross like. Could slap a legoshi right on there, <laughs> but <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah, I think I think you could definitely like make it easier to see. It'll never be easy to see. Yeah, like try. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, push the pose. Turns out. <laughs> it turns out it's push the pose again. Damn. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> I feel like it could be cool to like look at reference of like uh, like fighters. Mm -hmm. Like the way they like lean into punches and stuff like that. You could probably yeah. get some good reference from something like that. I will say the reason I bought so many pose books that are just like people fighting is because it's just like weirdly versatile. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're always very dynamic. Yeah. When they're putting a lot of force behind their movement. Oh, someone in chat says Premier has good reference for shooting fire. So true, bestie. That's that's true. That's big true. But yeah. Could also Congrats. watch Avatar, The Last Airbender. Ooh, that is true. <laughs> Shoot a lot um, of fire in that thing. They sure do. But yes. Congrats on your improvement already. This is great. Yeah, you made huge strides. Keep it up. Yeah, and it's going to be even huger this time. Okay. G -g Cadence. God. Um, Ooh, these okay. are cool. 
I know. The specific input I'm looking for is regards to character design and painting style. What do you want me to say? They're already <laughs> good. I love this creature. It kind of... Uh, one of my friends, uh, their name is Drew Shields. They, they're really into, like, creaturey stuff, and it reminds me of their work. Ah. I, uh, it, I love the nastiness. Yeah. Mm. And I love the colors. Like... This this one is the one that catches my eye out of the group. <laughs> yeah, the brushwork is really good. nice too. Yeah, the way it's so like splotchy and yeah, very intentional. I love these these creatures. Okay, yeah, I think. Do we wanna? Do we wanna maybe? Yeah, maybe push the values a little bit. In the in the background in the at background? least. Background. It could be it could be brighter. Get to, a, little, a little bright in there. To like stand out against these absolute kings a little bit more. But um yeah. I mean that's always gonna be like the thing I say, because like especially if you're working kind of like only using color, it can be really easy to not think about it. Um, because like you're just looking at the colors and the colors will always add something but sometimes you're you know it'll if it's if the values aren't uh taken care of it's still a bit uh it'll always be a bit flat but yeah i like these a lot yeah really so cool a lot of character to them yeah but yeah all, all I can really say is uh, um, the usual. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I love this one a lot. It truly reminds me of my bud's work. So, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I you got a strong, a strong design sensibility already. Like, Yeah. And it's, like, very specific. Like, I, I never want to like judge someone's work to my design sensibilities because I'm just like, no, this is your style. This is what you do. I love it. It all is very readable within itself. I love creatures. I guess the only other thing is like if, if you're going to do like highlights, make them brighter. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, um, I feel like I would say something about like I feel like I'm always telling people to like edit their designs a bit, like not have like too many noticeable characteristics so that the ones you do have really stand out. But I feel like that's kind of part of the, what makes yeah, this that's, work. That's part of the style. So I like, that's I don't really just, have that advice yeah. for this one. Yeah. And the only reason is I'm just like these skin highlights, at least I'm just like, eh, just make them like full white as close to off white as you feel comfortable doing. I think it would suit your style for it to be like shiny. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, these are so lovely. Great work. Yeah. I like these guys a lot. Hi. Okay. Next. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Ely. Uh, I'd appreciate any critiques, anything that sticks out or tips that would enhance a drawing. Recently, I've been interested in lighting, mashing fun colors together, and good old anthros. Uh, I'm still getting used to digital art and rendering. The landscape was my first attempt, as well as drawing human figures. The, the landscape was your first attempt? At doing digital? <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Jeez, okay. <laughs> um uh <laughs> sorry, just like automatically. No, I wanted to check because like uh the the soft area around the light source of the landscape, but no, it, it it's fine. I think it's just the warms and cools, maybe, but no, it looks beautiful. Um Yeah, yeah I, feel like I, I'm I maybe a little sorry. unclear on like around the left side of the landscape. Mm -hmm. of like what is going on exactly that's not a rendering issue i think well i don't I know I'm if that's just... like a value issue or i think i'm just like is that a lamp <laughs> yeah. i don't i don't know what lamps look it like. might just not be something that i'm supposed to know what it is 
Someone in chat said Breath of the Wild. Is this Breath of the Wild? I wouldn't know. You're not a gamer. Um, I'm not a gamer is the thing. Um, so soon I'll have a gaming PC. It's going to be called the Poor Pussy Machine. <laughs> <laughs> the poor the pussy pre <laughs> Yeah, black sad. Um <laughs> yeah, I you submitted like five pieces and I had trouble kind of picking them out because I I felt like they were all very like proficient. <laughs> uh you know, you said you're still getting used to digital art and there's always going to be growing pains to like like, you know, switching to a new medium, learning a new medium, but I think these all look really nice and I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in agreement. It feels like you've already got the the skills. Yeah. It's just a matter of like I continuing on and getting more proficient with your new tool set. Yeah. These were uh these two were the ones that I like chose at first and I had trouble choosing the third one. I just chose this little guy for variety, but also I love the way you rendered the shoes. Yeah, that's really cool. It's like yeah. just color blobs, but it works. Yeah. That's why I'm just like, you like, you, you like uh, mashing fun colors together. Yeah, just fully go crazy, go stupid. I don't know what program you're using for, uh, for digital art, but yeah, if you're learning and it's like new, like try, try, uh, I already forgot what they're called. <laughs> Gradient maps. That's the fun <laughs> color. That's the funnest color. Yeah. Try like, you know, there's there's things that you can only essentially do in digital art. Like those are the perks of it. Mess around with that. So Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know what else to say. These are just really good. I guess yeah. my only other thing is like uh you, you, there can be a bright push that a little bit more it's 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 a little gentle that's all you can you can, you can make this a little wide in the center that's all i'm saying that's one thing <laughs> one thing uh i've been using procreate yeah i haven't touched procreate in a while but yeah me mess around with some of their settings just fuck around it's fun i don't know if they have all that stuff in procreate but i think they do I they might, yeah. I have no idea. I'm always putting more <laughs> stuff in there. Procreate's great, but yeah, have fun. Experiment more. You're doing great. Uh, thank you, Trinity. Trinity. I only gave two for you because there's a lot of figures. I I love the book cover. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, critique of anything, but particularly interested in terms of composition, color choices, balancing accurate anatomy with pose dynamicism. dynamicism. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. I uh, I also included this one because there were a ton of like characters in it, but uh, I know these are at least partially One Piece characters, and those tend to be very stylized. Uh, but I think you have a grasp on these things already. <laughs> I truly love this. This is such a good, like you pose this so well. Yeah, it's it's well composed too. Yeah, these bitches. I'm obsessed. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, balancing accurate anatomy with dynamic poses. I guess I mean, maybe some of the poses, like they're they're like really good poses, but they do feel a little like n like naturalistic. I guess like in the sense that mm -hmm. like they're all very much poses that a person could conceivably make in real life. Yeah. Um, and s for me at least, some of the fun of art is like to to push to stretch and push beyond what would be maybe necessarily strictly possible yeah um so you could try just getting a little wild like you got like a really strong anatomical knowledge yeah um i already forgot what i was gonna say because oh, I, I feel like i know i'm like <laughs> i thought of it while you were talking and then immediately forgot um i i feel like the 
the art style you're doing, your art style is like leaning more towards like, you know, take like being realistic, like it it's going to follow realism and stuff. But yeah, I mean, if, in terms of just uh, balancing accurate anatomy with pose di- di- dynamism is um, always just continue practicing, continue doing figure drawing because especially if you're doing the fast ones, because then you're you're really <laughs> forced to be dynamic while still kind of like uh, uh, taking in that knowledge of like, this is what it looks like when a person stands like this. But you got to do it very fast. And um, I feel like for me, that's some that's like why I was like able to really develop a sense for dynamic posing, because I had to do a lot of that as an animation major. Uh but yeah, because you like you clearly already know, like like you have such a strong like sense of like drawing characters and stuff. These are beautiful. So yeah, just keep pushing. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> I think doing the fast gesture drawing would be a huge help. That was that's a good yeah. Good if, if yeah, like if especially if you want to like. Like you already have accurate anatomy. So if you want to work on dynamic posing, then do really fast figure drawing because then you're applying the knowledge you already have to like 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the more you do it, the the more it'll like click. But yeah, these, these are lovely. And the other pieces you sent were lovely too, but I only put these two because everything is hard and we still got so many owlbears <laughs> Ooh, very um, nice stuff so cool i had to include the one with the big titties um uh i'm struggling big time to finish my art uh, i can get to a second sketch or third sketch and slap color under it add some highlights and shadows and either burn out or don't see a way forward because of medication i have very shaky hands and clean line art is kind of hard for me any suggestions on how to make a piece look more finished without crisp lines I think these look finished. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. I was like, if you had told me that these were finished pieces, I would be like, yeah, of course they are. Look at them. No, I like, understand. They don't look unfinished to me. I understand the impulse that like, oh, I just see this as a sketch. I don't feel like it's a finished piece on caliber with other stuff. I agree because I'm the same way. I don't. Like when I do my own art, I don't always do this with Drawfee, but in a general, like generally in my process, I don't do clean line art. I'm very different from Jacob. I've only recently learned how to do it or like how to kind of do it if I wanted to from watching you. When I was designing uh, Redacted uh, earlier this week, I <laughs> <laughs> I cranked the stabilization all the way up to 40 to get those lines smooth. <laughs> it um, helps. That is something you could try if you wanted smooth lines. But no, I think like as it is, like it's great. Like I usually don't do finished line art. I typically like I'll do multiple sketches and then I'll end up with like a very clean one that I use as line art. But like I don't think that's necessary to like have it inked. I... I tend to keep it as a sketch, albeit a very clean sketch, because I find it kind of keeps the qualities I liked about the sketch without having to like really tighten it in. So especially like, you know, dynamics, like the kind of like swoop swoopies. Uh, um, But yeah, no, I don't think like you need to do clean line art or that you should feel uh insecure about not doing clean line art i think like this one especially like the the rendering on the clothing and the hair is beautiful i think it looks great yeah super nice and even if i like zoom in i'm just like okay yeah it doesn't have like a smooth ink but that's just the style i don't know yeah, that's just I, my opinion. <laughs> I genuinely really like the look of um, like messier quote unquote line art that's been like colored underneath like this. I think it has yeah. like a quality to it that super crisp lines don't have. Yeah, and this isn't even that messy. It's really. not, but like I've seen people go way messier, and even yeah. still, you don't really like notice that it's messy. 
Yeah, because, you know, that's a that's a style and that's just how you work. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I say embrace it. Yeah, I I think it's wonderful. I think embrace it, go further. Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, because like, I've never enjoyed doing clean line art, like when I worked traditionally and then eventually as like, uh, you know, when I switched to digital, when I worked as a professional, uh, only when I need to. <laughs> so, um, it, you know, it has its benefits, but like if the line arts your concern, like it looks great. Uh, especially if like the color, like doing coloring like this isn't, um, Oh, this one is beautiful. This like pencil-y one. Yeah. Yeah, I really hand. love this, uh, this shapes. This hand. Those are great hands. Uh, Damn. Yeah, shit. Um, and tits. But yeah, I, th <laughs> I think it works very well for your style. And like, yeah, just the, 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 if as long as it's like comfortable to like work like this for you, then I think it's great. Yeah. And that you're doing great. <laughs> yeah. I fully agree. And you got but, great, yeah. grape, grape shape language. I love your grape shapes. Your grape <laughs> shapes are, are lovely. Yeah, these characters are lovely. The center one is my favorite, um, despite the big tits out, just because like I love the way that the skin is rendered and it's like, you know, it's different from the hair. It's different from the clothes. They're all done so well. Yeah, I yeah. really like that face rendering too yeah uh, clean line art is a stylistic choice it doesn't need to be that way no. <laughs> yeah it's whatever you want it to be and i think that this works very well for you so i hope i hope you're happy with your art and that you continue to do whatever is comfortable agreed honk b, b. uh uh, uh yeah i'd love to know what jumps out for you as areas improvement uh this one's a little self-portrait i did this is so cute yeah it's very cute oh i love this hand actually <laughs> um areas of improvement i don't know this is um i i not not in any way reflective of the work or anything it's uh a very small sample. It's hard to judge based on just this. So I have to, I have to think. You got anything? You got anything, Jacob? Uh, I feel like the maybe the thing that jumps out to me right at the beginning is the the line art might be a little thick, like mm. all around. Like I think if you're gonna go with a thicker line art style, it helps to to like make it thinner in like interior places. Yeah. Like save the thickest lines for where the thickest shadows would be. Mm -hmm. um, and then like have thinner lines. I don't know like what sort of setup you're working with. So it might be more difficult to get the thick and thin. But I think it the line art gets a little muddy on the inside just because it's kind of the same width. Yeah. Um, all over. Okay. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it because... I guess my like very immediate uh, reaction would be that like the eyes read kind of strangely for me. Um, and I think it is because of like the line width, um, especially because there's like a lot of like line art in this. And uh, but the uh, I don't know the parts of an eye. Yeah, like these aren't uh, lined. And I think that's like the only thing that's not lined in this drawing. So I think that kind of like threw me, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. So no, yeah. I agree. Uh, but yeah, I think I was trying to fit, kind of figure out where I was like feeling about that. And that helps point it out. It would. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, you're in chat. Hey. Yeah, I think but... it's, it's really cute, though, generally. Yeah, I would love to see more of your stuff at a future time. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly feel like it, this is literally just a matter of like, once you do more line art, you'll just get more confident with your line work and it'll just get better naturally over time. Yeah, uh, makes sense. I often struggle with the sketch line art step. Don't we all? <laughs> a lot of people do. 
it's a very common struggle and yeah you you gotta it this isn't like directed at you just as a general thing it's just you got to kind of figure out like what works for you mm -hmm. and you know as as we said with albert sometimes like you know doing clean line art thick line art doesn't work and that's okay too but yeah but you'll you'll figure it out yeah just keep yeah. keep at it i think you'll just you'll get better but yeah this is really cute i wish i could have seen more um but we'll do it some other time yeah <laughs> yeah i should actually check out art share in the discord i've been busy so i haven't been as on but yeah thank you so much for sharing charred draws Ooh. uh blah, 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 blah. Neither are OCs or both from a character from a book series. Gee, I wonder which one. Um, my biggest art struggle is my art looks too flat, both compositionally and color wise. <laughs> I see Zappy. Zappy has been summoned. <laughs> um, uh, both compositionally and color wise. Well, let's take a look, see why don't we? <laughs> um, so. Again, and I think this is just like a common thing where uh, I'm not sure how um, how I just noticed you do like the the thing where you shade with green. That's lovely. That looks great. Yeah, your I, color. I literally cannot perceive that. Yeah, I'm like I don't know if Jacob can see it. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a technique where like you use a little bit of like green and blue to yeah. shade. It's a painting technique. I, I, I don't know, know the, the name of it. I know of yeah, the technique. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm describing it to you so yeah. that maybe you can imagine it <laughs> I in just your can't. brain. <laughs> I just can't see it, unfortunately. I never will be able to. I I will not be yeah. able to render skin like this. It's not within my capabilities. Yeah, I I wish you could see it because it's you. Uh, it was pulled off very well. It's I don't even know how to do this, <laughs> but yeah, it looks really nice. But no, your color usage great that's what i was getting at um i feel like it's hard to balance like choosing those colors properly with choose like being able to like refine it through shading um <laughs> it's laughing at myself jacob can't see color. <laughs> i love you jacob um Thank you. yeah no, the answer is the same as ever. Also, the shading on this clothes is... See, you you nailed the shading with this. I feel like uh, with these lighter colors, I, I don't know if this was a stylistic choice or what, but um, it does feel flat because the shading is all in these colors uh, rather than in, like, any actual, like, shading. Even the parts of the face that have, like... Uh, that are kind of showing like the bone structure and stuff are very, very subtle um, in comparison to like this beautiful rendering in the hair and in these clothes. Oh, this one's so good, but yeah, it's uh, I, I think maybe that's like part of why you feel that way. But I mean, these are beautiful. Yeah, I really like them, honestly. Yeah, the longer I look at it, the more I'm just like, this one especially the way you rendered the clothes and the hair jesus christ it's a lot of work you live like this uh, <laughs> it's lovely yeah i feel like with this one i i feel like maybe it was like partially your intent like to kind of keep it very like subtle in the shading and light but i i don't know if that's like why maybe uh it it feels flat to you yeah i mean if you want it to be light then add more uh highlights because this is all very middle. Uh, so you can kind of brighten it up by like popping out some high, make them highlights pop as the girlies say. I don't know, I don't wear makeup. But um, yeah, these are lovely. God, this clothing shit. <laughs> but yeah, these look great. <laughs> yeah, great work. I think it's another one that goes in the maybe you were a little too hard on yourself category. Yeah. But yeah, it's it's wonderful. I wish I could give it more time. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, yes, Zach. Ooh, Jacob Core again. Yeah, Zach oops all bangers. Uh 
<laughs> um, the name applies appropriately. Yeah, literally, these are all good. What do you want me to say? These are I can all tell bangers. I can tell you're a fan of Dana Terrence. I know. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah, it's working for you. Keep it up. <laughs> I don't have to say push your poses for once. Yeah. These poses are are freaking pushed. I love them. <laughs> this one especially is just like I us. just realized that's us on the right. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> that's you dude i was like that kind of looks like me and then i was looking at everyone and it i was like wait a you, second <laughs> idiot <laughs> <laughs> i saw this on twitter or on the discord i'm up there <laughs> yeah you're yeah. up there that's me <laughs> zoom and enhance <laughs> <laughs> No, this is my favorite one. The the creatures and the the hand. This hand like really stood out to me for some reason. Oh, that's a great hand. Yeah, I I will look. I don't have anything to add to this. You're nailing it. They are all bangers. Yeah, I, this is like so, some of this stuff's a little like aspirational to me. Like I look at it and I'm like, I I could learn from this. Yeah, I could learn some pose stuff from this. Yeah, what do you want me to tell just, you? <laughs> what do you want? What do you people want? Like, so many of you are just already good. I can tell you how to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, I, um, again, I can tell that you're a big fan of Dana Terrence. I, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're in chat and your boops all bangers in chat. But yeah, I mean, keep exploring like your style because it's really, you have such a strong foundation. This is really good. Yeah. Um, it, it hits I'm, all my marks. Yeah. The colors are easy to see. <laughs> <laughs> Which I love. But yeah, I love that you have Drawfee fan art. Anyone who has Drawfee fan art <laughs> today. Mwah. Yeah, I guess I guess if I had to absolutely nitpick, there's a tangent. Oh um, my god. Be mindful of that, I guess. <laughs> wow, the one non banger. It is a banger though. The tangent. No, this is this is truly is all bangers. Like I think just keep at it. I, I looking at the Drawfee piece and like I, I guess I'm like, no, no, actually. I was like, I feel like maybe uh the the Jacob like anatomy, but the foreshortening on the hand is really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really good foreshortening on the hand. There might yeah. be like something with the torso that's a little yeah, funny. Yeah, I think it's the torso. Torso to head area, maybe it needs to be like a little pushed, but I think otherwise. My head needs to be a little smaller. You got a big ass head, dude? Given given the angle. Yeah, but yeah, I'm really I'm really reaching with but this yeah, that's, one. Yeah, so. that's nitpicky as hell. Yeah, we're we're nitpicking, but you asked for it. You paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, these are amazing. Um, yeah, great work. Keep up the good work. Okay, six more. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. And then I'm going to go sit with my giant fucking pin. <laughs> <laughs> eat dinner off of it. I'm going to eat dinner off of Kotetsu's face. Um uh mini squish mini squish uh first one which is this one <laughs> of course that's where the first one uh, goes yeah uh work in progress for my web comic the other two are just pieces i'm proud of but really want to get some thoughts on ah these are so good for yeah, reals cool for stuff. reals um let's just be a little dumb fucking one note sally uh pop the brights I, I, you know, there's like the framing, um, uh, the character could be more separated from like the background, uh, cause it's 
really beautiful, but everything's just kind of like it, it doesn't look too separate from the characters, like this whole cityscape. But it, it, aside from that, like uh, the fact that you drew a cityscape and it's like really good. <laughs> yeah, I feel what like you, you did ah! like a good job of doing the amount of work you needed to do to make it look like a city without like over detailing. Yeah, it like really gets the vibe. Yeah, like it's so good. I think just like even if it's just a freaking rim light a little bit to like separate the character from this like wall, especially because like this uh, brick wall is very, very similar. Like if you're looking down at my little color wheel, very, very similar uh, in in like area to uh the skin tone so that especially i think could just use a little bit more definition to separate they said in chat that they mostly traced the city good yeah that's what i would do too yeah i'll trace <laughs> I anything to, i don't need to draw a damn city are you kidding me that shit's hard but yeah okay uh bu -bu -bu. this this one too beautiful the anatomy is really good on this what the hell um yeah, this pose nailed it. it i i don't know how much of like a, a piece like what the vibe is you're going for you can push brights add a white make the eyes white i love i love just like making the eyes white yeah and like <laughs> i mean not not trails. the whole eye yeah yeah that's a that's just like you know and then it and then it like stands out compositionally but Literally, that's it. But unless that's not what you want, in which case, fuck it. It looks great. Um, it's always hard to critique like um, a work in progress, so I, I try not to like be too, like to pick too hard at these. Um, I'm not sure if the gray here indicates kind of like a like a value differentials, because. Um, uh you know I, I just think like this character on the tightrope to me this is the focal point um because it is kind of like featured at the lightest gray but and, but there's also like not a lot of separation from the rest of this so uh i but again this is a work in progress so i don't know what it'll look like colored yeah, I do think at the current value level, the the tangent of like the woman with her arm up going right into the dress of the tightrope walker is creating a little bit of visual confusion. Yeah. Cause like it's it she doesn't look as high up. Yeah, she doesn't look like she's very high up at this point, but that could easily be something that you're going to change. Yeah. Uh but yeah. No, these are lovely. Oh my Great god, you drew, you drew a horse. You drew so many things. Yeah. These are like difficult things. Um, the shades are to indicate receding into the background. Uh, depending on what you want the focal point to be, recede them more. Recede them all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because like as as it is, you know, like if this is if this character on the tightrope is the focal point, then um. Everything else should be like significantly less like bright. Uh, if that's not the case, uh, uh, like if this character is less of a focal point, actually, then they can she can be less bright, etc. You'll figure it out in coloring. I I don't I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's very, it's at a stage that it's difficult uh, to uh, critique. So, yeah, but I do hope that helped. Yeah, I, cool I, work. Yeah, this will be interesting to see. These are beautiful drawings, though. But, yeah, it'll look so cool in color. Uh, saw the class, had to join. Really nervous, but uh, but get excited from some feedback uh, from artists I admire and learn something I can improve on. These are cool. You should be nervous. You're the one we're going to really rip up. <laughs> no. We decided we're going to pick one at random and just go to town. <laughs> and it was Fraser. <laughs> three, four, three. Hey. <laughs> 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 he, 
guess what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I feel, is this supposed to be like a magic fire? We can make it glow more. I mean, yeah, I think so. Because like uh, there's a green cast on the hair and face. These characters are real cute, by the way. This is very uh, old school to me <laughs> for some reason. Um, yeah. So if that's like a magic or a fire, like make it hella bright. Um, yeah. Yeah. Really just why? Why do I do anything? Because then it could be like that. You know, you can darken up the like area around it in the background to kind of like really make it pop. And, yeah, because she's uh, like in a cave, and if the yeah. only source of light is this magical fire, yeah, it's a very well lit cave or forest as it stands. Because yeah, then you can even... really hit them highlights. Yeah, because then yeah, you can have like even even if it's just like that, like. As a whole, you could kind of like push the whole thing to kind of like if it's supposed to be in a cave, which I'm realizing now that maybe it is because there are stalag mites and tights. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, then it would be darker. So like she could be cast more into shadow. But uh, yeah, e even just, you know, I, I feel like your uh, art style is uh, more like the colors are more desaturated, et cetera. Um, but no, don't be afraid, especially if there's like little magic elements and stuff like that stuff can get real unnatural real fast. So don't be afraid to like use that to kind of like really uh, push because as it was, I kind of had trouble reading it as a fire or any type of light source because it kind of matches the green of the background, which I think maybe that was supposed to be casting that light, but it kind of just doesn't, it, it looks too naturalistic. It looks kind of like mossy, where if you make it like real magical. Yeah, and then I think push that that background back a bit, make yeah. it darker. Yeah. And then just have it like highlighting off the stalactites and mites. <laughs> I don't know which really one's nice. which. I don't I, know I which don't one's either. which. <laughs> I don't. Either. I don't. I'm not gonna pretend. <laughs> and like, uh, yeah, because like these are really solid, solid drawings. I just think like the uh coloring can be pushed further. Like it's very natural looking, and uh, you could very easily kind of like exaggerate it to kind of create a more uh exciting feeling drawing like with this one you can like add so like a light source uh to <laughs> uh to kind of like give some of that atmospheric perspective i remembered suddenly how to do that <laughs> and um <laughs> yeah and then uh you know you can be like more in in like nope that's not cute yeah, and then like have more that so that yeah, it just kind of like looks like more is is more is, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I feel so, like um in chat, Girl Two's point about the dilemma when it comes to fire is balancing saturated color with a bright value. A saturated color seems to be tonally darker than a white. Is, a, is I think a lot of people do fall into that trap where they'll go with like a really saturated orange forgetting that the brightest part of a fire is usually white. Yeah. That's like the light source part of it. Yeah. So you kind of can do both like Karina has done here with this green fire, like a white core with a bright green. Oh, aura. Aura. Yeah, and fire's hard because the but yeah, I always remember that like the the hottest parts white. Something you can do is also like have a blue. Blue is also a very surprisingly hot color. In terms of like fire, it'll make it look like extra extra spicy. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, putting it like really saturated is good but yeah it doesn't make it look brighter it just makes it look like more 
bleh, stylized and uh, cartoonish. Totally. So, yeah. But, yeah, good work, Fraser. I hope that was helpful feedback. Yeah. Great, um, great job on anatomy and stuff. Yeah. These are so solid. I think it's just uh, be bold, be bold with your colors because the line art and and character drawings are so, so down pat. Yeah. Okay. This one, uh, I, I covered up some of the bits because I wasn't sure. <laughs> so the gummy bears are not part of it. I put those there because I wasn't sure what's allowed <laughs> that's probably smart just for our own well-being you're welcome you're welcome uh these are okay. fun are these like yeah 3d Mothman. renders uh no they're just very smoothly rendered uh um, that's wild but yeah yeah i mean i i felt the same way but no it's just very smooth um so yeesh these are wonderful. I love Mothman. I'm sorry I covered his bits with gummy bears. I just we run a YouTube channel. Um, I I feel like with this purple one, I think part of why it looks like a 3D render is because it looks like it it's a matte finish. Um, yeah. Guess what? Blap. <laughs> <laughs> the the shading on it is very very subtle. So I feel like um, you could definitely push it more to kind of just be like, you know, have a bigger range. Um, it's really the running theme of today. It's something that I, I love to harp on. I'm so irritating about it, but it's a good thing to keep an eye on. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's because I felt the same way. And I think it's literally just because like, you know, you have this like very, very saturated um, base color, essentially. And uh, it's it's all like, you know, very subtle shading at full saturation. It looks very matte. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The posing is wonderful. Yeah, I love great it. Posing. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, and I feel like that one on the bottom left with the sharper highlights. Yeah. Really pops. Yeah, I just, I do, yeah, I think with this one, like, it's very, uh, pop art-y, there is a bit of, like, uh, uh, airbrushing going on in parts of it, I feel like right here, for some reason, that really muddies it up for me for a moment, but other than that, yeah, I love this one, the poses are so fun, and I love the design on the wing, um, but yeah, no, this this one I really like. I think like especially on this leg, like you're doing it, you're nailing it. Yeah. But yeah, I love Mothman. <laughs> yeah, very fun. I could see these like hanging up in a very rich person's house. <laughs> That's like the vibe I get. <laughs> but yeah, these are great. I'm sorry again I put gummy bears on it, but you know yeah again just push them values you already push the pose the pose is popping yeah the values why not pop them too i can tell you got it in you just keep messing around but yeah these are great good work okay fiacra studios i'm sorry if i got it wrong i'm american <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, advice on the clothes on the lying down pose. I have a hard time figuring out how to make fabric hang properly. Yeah, that's valid. Um, that's a tough one. Everyone has a hard time. So, uh, yeah, part of something that needs to be considered is how, like, what type of fabric is it? Is it a thick fabric? Um, I don't know how to describe this type of character without being incredibly dismissive and saying Hamilton ass. But what <laughs> what kind of like uh fabric is a Hamilton ass jacket like this like made out of? I imagine it would be something like thicker. Yeah, I would so also think so. It probably wouldn't bunch up quite so like uh um like this is a thin fabric the way it's bunched up. 
because you yeah, know it looks it's, like a silk or something yeah it's it's folding very thin whereas if you have like a thick jacket it's <laughs> it's uh not not gonna uh so because yeah if it's if it's like silky it looks like that but then if if it's like thick maybe it would kind of like you know yeah, gotta... you get like a chunkier fold. yeah it's gonna be way chunkier honestly at the length that it's like going uh it would probably just make an unfortunately uh not appealing like silhouette but it could it would probably just do something like this um honestly that's not that bad there was one time there was that drawing i did of like vash the stampede where his jacket like billows out and it makes it look like he has humongous tatas so like look clothing doesn't always make a good silhouette but that's just life baby um but yeah i i think the main thing is uh with with fabric is that you got to kind of think about like what is the material and how would that reflect on on like how it you know behaves and then you can uh, like look up specific reference for that type of material yeah to see like how it generally tends to fold yeah because with something with something like this i imagine it would be kind of just like a little like difficult it would be thick they've said in chat that hamilton ass is not the vibe of the character but it is the era of clothes it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. I was <laughs> describing the clothes. I was describing the clothes. I would never compare your character to Hamilton or any character from the musical. I just meant the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I would never make such an assumption. <laughs> I just meant the jacket. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so... Yeah, I, I think in terms of like the fabric, it's just going to be a thicker fabric. So instead of it kind of like draping like a curtain, like a very thin fabric, you just need to kind of like it, it's going to chonk. It's, it's, a, it's a thick boy. But this character is very cute. I'm sorry you thought I compared it to Hamilton. I would never do that. <laughs> I would never do that. Also, I love seeing marker work. I've really been missing doing marker work. So this is very fun. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. And I feel like you, you bunched the little short short shorts, short pants yeah. shorts uh, pretty well. Yeah. I don't know how thick those pants would typically be, but. I know how thick them thighs are. Yeah, I know I can that. see them now. But yes, um, honestly, there is a book. There, there's like a series of books on Amazon. It's like a, a Morpho. I know they I know they have one on fabric drawing and um i i do have it but i haven't read it or like thumbed through it yet because i've been stupid busy but yeah if, if that's if they're very small and very affordable if that's like you want a book about it that's one that's out there they got a lot of books <laughs> about drawing different stuff and they got one just for fabric so that's cool but yeah yeah, I I should actually look at it after this class, but yeah, with this it's just I th I think the coat would be thicker, so give it give it more uh chonky. Name of the book again. The series is called Morpho, I believe. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for sharing. Uh thank you. It's not Hamilton. Soromoro, Soromaro, yeah. I remember you. I drew this one. You colored it. Um, meow. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. Also, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Uh, I've been trying to recreate snow in my own style. Uh, and there have been a few attempts. I'm so in love with your new outfit OCs and their aesthetic. Any tips on clothing or how to make cat boys cute? Meow. <laughs> um uh this is so cute though i think you're doing it ah oh, sorry i'm like which why is everyone 
fucking messaging me. Can't they see I'm going way over time? <laughs> um, <laughs> We're almost there. I know. We got one more after this. Thank you so much, for everyone, for sticking around and your enthusiasm. Yeah, appreciate uh, it. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, I again, I think like there's some anatomy things that, you know, will be worked on like the the arms doesn't yeah this arm's long so it's it's stuff like that um i'm so sorry to blow your shit up soromaro these are goofy colors um <laughs> <laughs> and we love it goofy core <laughs> um i in terms of like again you're asking me and i don't like to imprint too hard on like people's uh style um but uh, whenever i draw destiel confession since we're saying uh neopets uh his head is much squarter i i give him a very round head the the base shape i use is something like this which is uh significantly different from how i draw people uh whereas like a person would be like this is my base shape for a, a, a human um so because you know round stuff the proportions on on the my anthros tend to be way more cutesy than how like the eyes are big the head is round uh yeah the the, the features are big so and and the head is squart so yeah so that that's like my rundown on like uh, that that that's how you that's how i make things cute you do the sanrio uh route of just make it like squart and round um because uh yeah i i i think this this is good i, I you could kind of tell i did it with like this uh thing same it's the exact same <laughs> thing but with pointy ears um so but, yeah. squart up the head a bit is the... yeah because uh like with this one like it's kind of got like a human proportion so it reads kind of like peopley um which kind of throws off like the the proportion in a way um but i think it looks great on these two yeah i think with this one it's just that the ears are a little small for their position on the head it, it, in my opinion disclaimer it is my opinion i i don't think there's one correct way of doing things but if if you're using des as like your reference point as i am since you mentioned my neopets like that's the difference yeah, I think that's uh, good advice. Yeah, because because like if you, uh, I hate to put it this way, but if you approach and like especially an anthro cat, if you approach it with like too human of a head shape, it looks like cats. <laughs> it looks like cats twenty nineteen, and um, that's yeah. And it depends on if you want it to look like that or yeah, not. Yeah, like, and again, these are all stylistic choices, but I think a lot of people found that very uncanny because the heads are human shaped, but the ears are not quite big. They're like quite, uh, you know, they're not small. They're smaller than like on <laughs> on your your character. Just reset the counter. <laughs> <laughs> we made it so deep. <laughs> No, we didn't, but... Um... <laughs> into this stream we did. Oh, in this one stream, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that. I think like that's the problem that people had with the Cats 2019 designs is that they didn't expect it to look like that because, like, the ears are small on a huge... Like, they're the size of a human ears, but on a top of the head. Like, it throws everything off completely, and that comes off as very uncanny. So if you want it to be, like, cutesy, just make it look more like a cat, and cats kind of ha don't typically have, like, long faces, like, human faces. Yeah. So I hope that helps. I'm not comparing your shit to Cats 2019. I would never do such a thing. I love your cat boy. I love snow. I'm so I loved drawing him when you uh, were commissioned me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
You're doing great. I love this. Every anything else I can say is just kind of like, yeah, keep drawing, keep working. Draw some people. You want to give it a people body? Draw people. You want to give it a cat feet? Look at look at how people do that. Yeah, I I typically draw them with like more human proportion lower half so I don't have like good uh feedback on like how well to do. But yeah, in terms of just like, yeah, just keep checking out anatomy and look at how other people do it. Yeah. You know, that's always a good advice. Just as an aside, um, I was drawing, uh, for some reason, I was drawing a truck this week and that's no fun, but uh, I, I was going to like uh, simplify it a lot. So my art hack is that if there's any, any like weird ass thing that I'm just like, I'm going to draw this, but I want to see how other people do it. I just Google truck clip art because <laughs> then you just too. <laughs> yeah because then it shows you like a very simplified version of it and then instead of an actual picture of a truck yeah and it kind of cuts to the point that i'm trying to like get to whenever i'm drawing this stupid truck yeah so um, i've done that with things yeah like it's it's just you know so yeah if you're ever like overwhelmed by finding like reference just look up clip art it's, okay, no, it's not going to be exactly what you want the clip art, but it will show you common simplifications. It'll go. It'll show. You, it'll give you ideas mm -hmm. on how to simplify things that may seem otherwise daunting. Yes. Last one. Last one. We no got it. One. I'm so sorry we went so long, Jacob. That's okay. I, I like I said, I didn't have anything going on today, so. Yeah, but thank you for sticking it out with me. Of course. Um, I was wondering if you had any notes or thoughts on lighting, uh, with the angle of everything going on. I struggled with that. Ha 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 Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I think, I think you're doing it. I think you could push the dark down here more. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the values are, are quite nice though all around. Yeah, because you could you could just do like those wings are, are cool looking. Yeah, I like that they're drippy. Yeah. What are we? Yeah, do like just do it. Yeah, you know, just get my ugliest brush. <laughs> Your d most disgusting. Yeah, the the nastiest little one. Just do 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 a little some of this. Doing purple. So we can make it more red. Yeah. I could have just I could have just airbrushed this in, but no, I said make it make it strongly, because then that way the wings will stick out a little bit more. Yeah, pop even more. Yeah, um, but otherwise, I imagine that this could be kind of like light source. Is I don't I'm not super sure. I guess in terms of like lighting specifically, uh, light source unclear. Um, uh. So just just like push, push them values. I love <laughs> I love harping on this. I'll never stop. <laughs> you shouldn't stop. <laughs> it's a good thing to keep in mind. Sometimes you forget. It's like my old drawing teacher always said, your drawing is like a baby. You have to work on every part of it or else it dies. You have to feed every part of the baby or else it dies. That's how it works. That's how I babies guess. work, I'm told. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think in terms of lighting, you're kind of uh, missing like the indication of like what where the brights are. Uh, and if you just kind of like add in some highlights, like it's, it's, it's yeah, it's just that's all it really takes and and kind of deepen that like red at the bottom a little bit and that'll really kind of like create the lighting yeah i agree it's a cool piece though yeah this is really cool thank you for sharing it um do we do it i think that's everything if that's okay with with y'all <laughs> oh yeah we did oh, it my. ah geez <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself anymore. Everyone here is so talented. Yes. Thank you again, everyone, for sharing uh, your art 
And I'm sorry if anyone like missed the kind of submission window. I kind of panicked last night and and cut it off. <laughs> but uh, you know, if if I do this again, even if like people aren't on learners tier, I'll try to remember to go back and touch on those two because I I feel bad. I feel bad to not give everyone lots of time, but you know, it's it is what it is. Yeah, we Thank might have you. to think of a different way to like <laughs> limit the number we do. I didn't think it'd be this many. It wasn't this many when you did it. It's never <laughs> been this many before. I guess I'm people glad wanted it was your this info. Many. I'm glad it was. I hope it was helpful. I, I just I wish I could have done more. But yeah, thank you everyone for sticking it out. Thank you, Jacob, for sticking it out. <laughs> yeah, and thanks Friday everyone night. for for supporting us at such a high tier. Also, we yeah, really, for we really real, for real. It. <laughs> and uh, we 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 love you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you so much. Um, have have a good one. I hope people learn things, and we'll continue to learn things. Yeah. Have a good Check weekend, everybody. Push the yeah. values. Push the poses. Yeah. Push the values in your art and in life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.